What it do, boy? Man, Regis sucks against boxes, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Last Regis night I, said, I, was going, I was going for Regis, but Conor was going to win, bro. Hell yeah, man. And he, and, and he was telling on himself. All that chasing that man and shit, man, like about to follow your own feet trying to legit chase somebody across the ring, running. Regis is a fighter, man, and these mm -hmm. matchups just been bad, bro. You yeah. got to match him up against another motherfucker that's coming in there to fight. Yep, yeah, they're going to stand still and go at it. Exactly. Then Regis has some sort of advantage. This nigga Catterall fought off the back foot the entire night, and that's all he had to do was simple. You know what I mean? You fight off the back foot and counter Regis, you're going to win. What do, man? Yeah, who got the decision, man? Because I, I walked away. Catterall. Oh, Catterall. Yeah, yeah. Who right you decision, bro? You I know, had this is boxing. We never know, bro. Yeah. You never know. But this is what nah. happens, man, when you got two naturally left-handed fighters that's fighting each other, and they none of them has a left hook. I mean, a right hook. Yeah. And... This fight would have, if any one of these guys had would have had a right hook, this fight would have went totally different. Man, this fight was trash. Reed, somebody yep. in Regis' corner should have told him, hey, bro, he doing the same thing Devin Haney did to the OS. Bull rush this motherfucker, man. He tried yep. to. Bull rush this dude, bro. He tried to, but the thing was, he tried to do it from a halfway across the ring. Yeah. And he, he should have been doing that earlier in the fight, too. Yeah. You saw you, where his fight was heading. And that left hand he got clipped with, he was throwing his jab from like fucking no man's two. land, like right. from his <laughs> own corner. Yeah, bro. And then his, is, feet, then his feet by six, I want to say seven. Carol, figure that shit out. That dude take a double step. It's something heavy yep. coming out. He take a he single step, it's just like a jab. Twice. Yep. He do that, that boom, boom, and then come in with something hard. Carol, figure that shit out. Man, I'm done with Regis' ass, man. Man, I would I mean, like, really, like, I, I've been figuring out what you said that you're fired, but I would root for him because now I don't know where he's going to go. We ain't gonna man, he he going to go to retirement, man. Look at Catterall's face, man. Look at Catterall's face. He look like mm -hmm. he just came off a run, bro. Yeah, he got cut on top of the he, he ain't been in no fight. Man, if you, if, you can't, if you can't sustain, bro, you go to the back of the line, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Bro, he got dropped by Devin Haney, bro. Yeah, right. it, it's time to retire. That's, yeah, that's enough said, bro. You you done made all the money you can make. This, I looked at this as like, all right, man, let me go on and get this bag. You know what I'm saying? Before it get fucked up. You done did some shit like, what, two-time world champion? You uh, good. Yeah. Walk, and walk see, that's, that's the only thing that's probably going to get him some more fights. Is the fact that some of these other guys would love to have Regis Pro Grade on the resume? Yep. Now, I mean, that's 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 about it. But it, it, it but from here on out, it's got to be better matchmaking, man. It's got to be better matchmaking, man, for Regis, man. Because and if and you know, know, bro, I pick you, kind of you got to make that decision. Do I want to be an opponent, or do I want to just go out with my head up, my dignity? All right, right, but still it, some money out there that I need to make. Right. As a man, as a father, as a husband. You know what I mean? Like, do I need to make this money? Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's the decision he's with right now. But but heavy, yeah. it wasn't just matchmaking, bro. It was a lot of his own fucking mistakes. Sometimes he was chasing that man in the ring. He would just chase him, cut him off. You see, every time you start applying pressure, you panic and get on his bicycle. Make that motherfucker go where you want him to go. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, Not just but chasing his ass and then swinging at the same time you running. You feel me down there windmilling? Well, like, I say no, it's match. I, I I say it's matchmaking because that's who Regis Probray is. Yeah, that, that's the bag. That's the bag you get with Regis Probray. Regis is a left-handed Sean Porter with more power. That's Here. it. That's who. Something. That's who Regis is. It's up to the niggas around him to know that's who he is and put him in there with somebody he got a chance against. But at least Sean mm -hmm. can hook with his lead hand. Regis don't even hook with his re lead hand. He had the hook. The hook was there all Hold night time. for both of them. For both of them. And I kept saying, even in the Josh Taylor fight, I was like, man, Josh could have made this night easy if he just boxed Regis. Right. Yeah. Instead of trying to fight him. Instead of trying to fight him. 
Because every time he boxed Regis, he was he was taking them rounds. Yeah, and I fuck with Regis, man, because, you know, he, I just think he a dog. You know what I mean? But he's got to be in there with another dog who willing to scrap. Right. That's all. But if you know anything about the dog game, motherfucking fighting dogs and shit, you have a such thing as a game loser. Just because the dog is game, he probably a loser, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. But don't get up <laughs> yeah. there and fight. Yeah, you know yeah, right. And that's what, you know, that's what bro is, unfortunately. But shout out yeah. to Regis. Man, he gave it his try. He was he the height disadvantage was really bothering him. The height yeah. couldn't really reach him at times. But you know, that's when you when you do that pump fake, instead of you know coming with that straight left or that overhand left all the time, he could have pumped, pump, pump, and hooked. Yeah, and that's, that's where he was ducking his head was away from the left hand. So you could have pump, pump, pump and threw a right hook. But that's what happens when you got uh, naturally southpaw guys who don't have a right hand, who didn't develop their right hand. And, and shout out to Catterall, too, because he started to get the timing on it. You know what I'm saying? Regis was doing the same thing for the majority of this fucking fight. It just like he did. Step. Yeah, just like he did against Devin, Devin Haney. That double step. He would paint the jab or, or, or commit to it. And yeah. around yeah, about the third and fourth round, Catterall started timing him. The shit, yep. it was yep. clockwork. Yep. yep. And the crazy thing is, it's like taking a test, bro. Um, how many times do you have to take the test before you start to get some of the answers right and shit? Well, so yeah, guess what? He took it. It took him three rounds to be like, oh, okay. Well, he kind of know better now because he just, uh, I was just listening to him and um, he said he hurt his knee, hurt his ankle doing his motherfucker. He said, he said he think twelve rounds too much. Yeah, he said he gonna. He said I'm. Uh, he was like, he the he the hardest out of fall so far. He deserved to be a coming champ. He was like, but I think twelve rounds too much for me now. Fuck it. He said I might go to bare knuckle fight. <laughs> yeah, man. 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 Yeah, do uh, something else. Shout out to bro, man. Shout out to bro. Yeah. Or or let him let him let him get a crack at the old pit bull. Or or yeah, or yeah, uh, something like that. Yeah, that makes get sense. It, I'm not pretty sure he'll do that. He'll do that. It'll make yeah. sense for him. He ain't got to chase nobody around. At least I can scrap. You know what I'm saying? I think him and Ryo could mix it up good to make it. Because even though Ryo can box, he like to get in there and really exchange. I don't think he'll do it, though. Yeah, no. he might be He might be smarter than what we think. Yeah. yeah. Let us stand in there with him. Hell yeah, yeah. Man, that pit bull. I mean, I'm thinking at 140 or 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 Matias. You know what I mean? Let him let him get a crack right. of Matias. Right. You know, you get, but you gotta put him in there with somebody who gonna who gonna fight him. Yeah. Man, this was a bullshit fight, bro. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, tried, I, I thought I, I was rooting for him, but I, I knew he wasn't gonna get it, bro. This he, was so reminiscent. He's a fighter. He's not a boxer, so the shit that Another boxer would have picked up on. He yeah. not gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Catterall hands definitely dropped in the six. Man, he come out with his hands high. That high guard. That I'm talking about. Soon that built a thing. That motherfucker hand said whoop, went whoop. straight down to his waist. <laughs> and, yeah. this shit. and I'm like, bro, dog. He just was not taking advantage of none of that. He wasn't setting his shots up properly. Like I say, the man was ready to get on his bicycle. So if he would have took a hard jab step, Catterall would have ran. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he is an agent fighter, man. That's just what it is. He's an agent fighter. Yeah, yeah he's 36. Yeah. He's going down from shot shit. He wouldn't have went down from at first, man. We know him as being the Rougarou, bro. A soldier. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now right. he's getting put. He got put down by Devin Haney, bro. Enough said. Enough it said. It was only a matter of time before he got caught with something. Yeah. Uh -huh. I agree. Damn. You know, and again, man, I rock with, with Rougarou, man. I rock with Regis, man, but yeah, man. And he was so much smaller there in the ring, too, man. But that's always yeah. kind of been, if you go back and really look, that's always been the case with Regis. He's always been a smaller, shorter guy in most of these fights. Uh, this fight, he looked a little sunk in in the face, though. And, and, and that come from, you know, like I said, he done. Yeah. If he felt like he had to lose extra weight that was going to make him more agile or something, he's been doing this time to stop. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was compared to his last fight, like he he looked at like where he was supposed to be. This one, it was like he took off some extra weight. You know what I mean? 
I think it was gonna help. Yeah. But at least he knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah at least he knows. Know, he he know. can work it, bro, and get him a cool little if he wanna do that bare knuckle shit, get him a cool little five hundred thousand here. You know, yeah. five hundred thousand there. Fight once or twice a year. Oh, former, you know, junior middleweight, cha- junior lightweight champion or some shit, super welterweight, uh, whatever the fuck, one forty champion. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. He can go and get him a little money like that if he choose. But if I was him, I'd be like, man, fuck that, walk away. Yeah. Be a bandit, I mean, bro. I, I still feel like it's hard to walk. He got away wheels three on rounds, because... five hundred thousand three rounds, bro. That's kind of hard to work when, when when you look at it, his three losses come to Catterall, Haney, and now uh, 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 Josh Taylor. Yeah, he didn't really take no beatings in none of these fights. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's tread on the tire. But it is. It is. But see, you know, you want to know what the problem is, though, fellas? His age showing, bro. It's his age showing, but he's got some matches out there that's winnable. But young and up and coming guys got management teams are saying, "Oh yeah, <laughs> this is winnable," so they're gonna right. stay away from him. Yeah, this is his 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 golden ticket into being ducked because he is a tough goal for anybody. Right. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying, man. Like with team. against the right opponents, Regis gonna he he, he a dog. He yeah, Regis is a dog. Man. If you was managing a fighter and you knew your fighter was the right opponent, forget about it. Right. Yeah, forget about it. You right. You right. God knows you're right. Yeah, forget about it. And so everybody's seen. We seen there's some people, you know, uh, world class fighters out there that Regis could beat, beat the shit out of. But are, is he gonna get those guys? Yeah, that's the that's the that's the, that's the question. We're talking about today's climbing in boxing, bro. You know, the duck and I'm the A side, and what the fuck has Regis done, and all this other shit. Right. And, you know, who has he beaten? They'll start talking about this kid like he ain't never did shit in his motherfucking life. Like he been boxing, you know what I'm saying, in his uncle's garage and shit, getting ready for the pal and shit. Right, <laughs> yeah, that, right. You hear me? That's how this shit gonna go too. Yeah, that's how it's not gonna go. Yo. Yeah. It's they're gonna start discrediting who the people he lost to. They're gonna say yeah. you lost to Jack Catterall, you lost to Josh Taylor, you lost, and they gonna say it as if like they ain't shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, which is on, crazy, bro. which is crazy, crazy. Where yeah, I, this is the first time I, this is the first time I didn't pick Regis to win, bro. Because uh, I damn so picked him to beat Josh Taylor and I did too. Oh. I ain't gonna lie, I picked him out of hate on that. I don't like Josh. <laughs> I but, picked him to beat Josh Taylor. I stayed on the fence about Devin because I was like, damn, man, I don't know how much he got left because he was showing signs of being an aging fighter. Who did he fight before the Devin fight? At, it was like a guy that he fought in between the, the Josh Taylor fight. It, when and, he was at home. He was at home. Yeah. And he oh, just that's when he so won the scrap. Old. He won the scrap from your boy, uh, Zapata. Yeah, but he looked so lackluster, though, bro. He looked lackluster. He looked flat. And is Zapata fight? Yeah. Man, I thought he looked good, man. He fucked Zapata up. No, the but one, still the one he... when he was at home. Oh, now, oh, that one was uh damn, what's the dude name? I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he looked he looked bad. He looked bad. That wasn't Zapata I'm talking about. No, nah, no, nah, that's no, not Zapata. The one he was at home. Yeah. He dropped there too. Uh who yeah, yeah, yeah. They both dropped each other. Yeah. What's the nigga name? Uh, Everybody forget, got knockouts of him. I forget the dude name, man. He was tough though. Uh, they respected each other power too much in that fight. Yeah, yeah. but he looked flat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? He was nervous. He was scared because mm-hmm. he was at home on some stage fright shit. You know what shit. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That 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 hometown curse shit. That was all that yeah. was. Ain't. Uh, on top of that, they both had some 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 respectable power. Neither one of them really wanted to commit in that fight, so man, they both look, they both look bad. Who was that guy, man? I can't even fucking remember, man. I hey, that shit. Let me see. I'm gonna look it up real quick. It escapes the hell out of me. Yep, it was a New Orleans fight too. You right, slick. I believe. 
Yeah. yeah, he was at home. He was at home. Zaria. Yeah. Was it Cepeda? I knew it was a Z guy. Yeah. So he be he get the ch the chip from Zapata. Then he his first title defense at home in New Orleans was like versus shit. three. Right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But he's a world class fighter, man. He just got that. Well, we all we all thought he was gonna dominate Zarita. We thought like he was gonna beat blow him out the frame. Especially when we thought it was a everybody showcase. else was getting knockouts. Everybody yeah. getting knockouts on that fight. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, especially coming off that Zapata performance. Yeah. He was like, all right, he got the belt now. He's going to be at the crib. I think I did pick him for the knockout. <clears throat> but, uh, man, now you just suffer back to back losses, and it ain't no secret that you ain't got no real footwork, and all a nigga got to do is stay on his stick and on the back foot. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, stay on your stick on the back foot. You know, that's Regis' number. Because Regis is a fighter bro yeah yeah especially at this age man yeah and for me it's not even really it's not even really him showing it's just he doesn't have a different bag man he he, he is who he uh, is, man. He, he, who he so, is he's a fighter that's how that bad but that's most fighters though Mm -hmm. And you know what's crazy? Reed just mm -hmm. been telling us telling us that shit for years. He all he's never claimed to be a boxer. He's like right. the difference between me and these other guys, and he said it several times. They boxers, I come to fight, I come to right. hurt you. Mm -hmm. Right. right. He's been saying that shit for years. But that's, you know what though? I'm gonna give Regis his props though, even in this loss, bro. That boy got some creative ways to land that left hand, though, don't he? He was trying his best, yeah. He, yeah, he, he was trying. They got in there. Some of them he got switched, in there. He switched a couple. He switched a couple times in his motherfucker too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. It won't from a lack of trying, man. It just. Yeah, it, it, ain't, it ain't like it's not from effort. You know what I'm saying? He's just a fighter, bro. He's a come backwards and forwards. He don't yeah. have the best footwork. You know? Yeah, he saying? north. He north and south. He north and south. Yeah, he, <laughs> he just he's a fighter. <laughs> but That's he's a fighter all. that motherfuckers still gonna respect because. You see Catterall, Catterall, what that motherfucker started running in. Catterall ran. Fuck that. Yeah. He was on that bicycle pedaling hard in the motherfucker. Go, yeah, go, go, go. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna get, get dealt with like this. So they still respect yeah, him. Yeah. Like, no, you give him that. You know, because his game he is, let's, let's be real, his game has always been to get you on the ropes. Bring yeah. Back, straight back to the ropes. Yeah. But this That's whole it. fight, though, was a, a Hail Mary for Regis anyway, bro, because you fought him overseas. I you knew you oh, had yeah. to come in here and knock knew this it. guy out. You knew it. And I said it yesterday. I said this is the setup to get Catterall to the stardom that he they feel like he should have been at the first time he fought Jack Catterall. Yeah. I mean, uh, Josh Taylor. That's yeah, all that's probably what it is. Y'all believe Catterall was juiced up? They say the nigga wasn't doing no testing. No, no. <laughs> Reed just said so. they, only, they tested player, him but... one time. He a dirty fighter, bro, but but not by you. I don't think it's by you. Like you saw it in this motherfucker. That's good for hooking your head and bringing it forward. So why them UK niggas won't do like no that. testing, man? Why they wasn't testing? That's a, but you gotta understand though. That shit costs money. They probably did local testing, but not like that. It's just like PBC fighters. They don't test. <laughs> Uh, man, why y'all had bro? me thinking? Y'all just had me thinking like, about the scene in Rocky Four where you got the overseas fighter <laughs> drop up, bro. You got yeah. really looking at that shit. You can't. You ain't never heard a PBC fighter complain about another fighter talking about X, Y, Z. You know why? Because they know they ain't take no test neither. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it could be true. The only way you know for a fact the other person is testing. Is y'all put that shit in the contract? And guess who gonna pay for that shit? Y'all. Yeah. Promoter ain't paying hey, look, that shit. I'm looking at them top ten. Uh, the top ten at forty. It's some work uh -huh. there for uh, 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 Regis if he wanted. Man, you could do a rematch with Josh Taylor. You could go at uh, Subriel Matias. Uh, Cause you know Josh Taylor gonna have something to prove, so he gonna come to fight. I think he going to one forty seven though. Everybody else though, I don't. 
Puyo, he too much of a boxer. Andy too much. Uh, Aroka too much of a boxer. Paro too much of a boxer. Ryo, it, it, he won't. He not going to stand there enough. Right. And then I think Tiafima Lopez probably knocks him out. Ryo, man, yeah. um, he's the one champion at 140 that I'm really looking up under a magnifying glass because it's like that WBA belt has been cursed. Think about it. Roley got it, defended it once, lost it. Yep. Pitbull got it, defended it once, once, lost it. Lost it. Yep. They yeah. Got this movie, you hear me. On it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I want to see what's going on with the WBA at 140, bro. Yeah, they I'm get like, that bitch moving. They don't get to hold on hey. to this bitch too long. Nah. <laughs> yeah. They get one defense, nigga. That's it. I wonder, man, the way uh Puyo looked against uh the way Puyo looked against Gary Antoine, man, he looked damn good, bro. I know, right? I want to see him get in the mix, man. I want to yeah, see. Yeah, they better not here. bench him either, bro. They better not, bro. Yeah, they got. That's what it looked like, that. man. He should yeah, already. Paul, that. Hey, you forgot about who Jose Ramirez? Mm. Yeah, Ryo. That's Ryo. Yeah, you know who I'm thinking about. What's the other Ooh. Ramirez? That's who I'm thinking. I'm tripping. At one four, at one thirty five. No, nah, man, I'm just thinking about namesake, man. I'm getting oh, mixed up. Oh. Uh, There's another Ramirez. The one that, fought, the one that fought Josh. The one that fought Josh Taylor. That yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, that's a different one. This Ryo Jose Ramirez. It should have WBA champion beside his name too. Is missing. Yeah. Oh, but man, she. Or Gary Antoine. Shit. Yeah. Get one of the young boys yeah. in there. Yeah. It's some fights for Regis if, if they want to make them. Yeah, yeah but he's going to come in as an opponent and, and really pretty much pad the motherfucker record. He'll be the hey, new... Mexican uh, boxer. You said give him, give, him, give him credit as if he the real deal. I give them credit for building him. This was a building fight. I said it yesterday. Who is Jack Catterall the real deal? Yeah, he said it as if like he beat a a a, 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 a top tier. We have been watching Regis. That's what we discussed. It. We've been kind of watching Regis, you know, coast on down. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, but yeah, yeah. We got You got to give a good win. Of all No, it's a good gifts. win. He said he sure. said he's he's promoting him as like top tier. He still got some work to be shown, bro. That boy gonna mm -hmm. fuck rock his ass with. Now I can sit right here and point out every fucking flaw Jack Carroll has. And mother, a motherfucker that will eat his ass alive off of it. Just as much as he capitalized on the double steps that motherfucking Regis was doing. You see what I'm saying? And he Man, got, I, got some shit he, to he do. Got, he got Jack beating Tia Fimo. Tia Fimo got that herky jerky shit too. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? But he's right. got height to pull it off. Right. And he's got power too. So Jack that's fuck around getting knocked out. Of a fight. Yeah, TFMO, man, let me tell you something. That's going to be a heck of a fight, but I'm going to tell you something. The motherfucker who, who go end up losing, but for who run, because like I said, T.O. still got power. The only difference is we don't know what T.O. coming. But if yeah. if, if, if if we had Gordo, you would be talking about Carol. I'm going to win that fight. Mexican boxing, come on now. I, I like Jack, man, but... He would be Gordo. I'm going to be honest with you. Fuck the racist dude, but if it's Gordo, I'm picking Gordo. Jack Catterall is the UK Devin Haney, bro. Boy. <laughs> yeah, he don't got that much power. He can box his ass off. Yeah, right. that's it. He's a back foot fighter. Not he exciting. More, but he, got more, he got more power than Devin, though. I will say that. He yeah, more, yeah. But he ain't got no power for real. He's, he's going to be a tough out for anybody. But yeah. uh, definitely, if I'm looking at this top 10, uh, yeah, I can't. I would, I would, I would have to lean towards Lopez. I would have to, I would probably lean towards Ryo because of Ryo's uh -huh. power. Uh -huh. You uh, said Lopez, right? What's the first name? Yeah, who? Tiafimo. Okay. Uh, I would probably lean lean towards Puyo with the height and the jab uh -huh. Uh -huh. because he'll be willing to box him. You said Ryo, right? Yeah, I said Ryo. Now, two out of them three, you most de all three really, but two out of them three, what are they? They boxers. They boxers. Yeah. Who the fuck had her off out tonight? A fighter. So how can you say he's the Del the Crim Della Crim? You can't. 
No, no. You know, hey, this was this see, was, the was, this is what I, was I mean. Making. Yeah, this is what I mean when I'm trying to tell Mexican boxing. This was a fight to put him on a pedestal to give him that fame. This is a proper fight. You understand what I'm saying? He should yeah. look good against that. But Rico stood when you put up Kettle, with him in spots, though. He boxed with him oh, in yeah, spots. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, he you had a moment. puncher boxing with you in spots. Yeah. But if I, right. But if I put, but if you put Catterall in there with another fucker a boxing in there, all that leaning forward, forward, sticking your head out and shit like that, dropping your hands, not pulling your hands back, you're going to pay for all that. Oh, yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, Catterall got some fucked up shit he be doing, bro. Then man, he it, with your head, he'll get used. Like that's all. That's all I'm trying to say. Not saying Catterall yeah. is junk. I'm just saying Catterall has not been in front of the right motherfucker for somebody to tell me that he's the crim de la crim. He's not. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, he's, he, you fighting fighters, fight a boxer. Yeah. Then I'll see. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Because you can even say that about Josh Taylor, and that's why I always right. fuck with Josh Taylor because Josh he's Taylor a gonna try to fight. He's you. a boxer he, puncher. He, he, he's gonna yeah. fight. Well, mm -hmm. she he a boxer puncher, but he's more of a boxer fighter. If he can't catch yeah. you with being a boxer, he will come forward. You get what I'm saying? That's how he yeah. get his ass knocked down. Because he exactly. chooses to I be that fighter. This guy tried with T.O. He, he don't mind getting on the front foot. That's what I'm saying. Right, right. Yeah. T.O. owns Southpaws, bro. He owns them, bro. <laughs> Think about yeah. it. Yeah. It, who's the two biggest saying. wins? Josh Taylor and Loma, he owns South Paul's, bro. Until proven otherwise, bro, but he owns South Paul's. You know, Jack. he's a different guy when he fights South Paul's versus, like, just orthodox guys. Guys, yeah. And, and Catterall, man, and, and, and I give him a good chance against this whole list, but you, you got to stay away, in my opinion, you got to stay away from uh, Teofimo Lopez, and you got to stay away from Puyo. Yeah, I, yeah I don't see them the ones you put last. Right. Yeah. That's called knowing knowing thyself, like the Bible Bible tell you. <laughs> knowing yeah. thyself. And, and the jury's still out about head. Pyro. The jury's still out about Pyro for me too, because man, given his performance, and I definitely want to see what he's gonna look like in his next performance uh against your boy uh who, 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 Pyro. Who Pyro fighting next? They already got the contract done, right? Hey. Who fight Pyro next? Oh wow! Uh, 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 fuck! Damn, that's December, ain't it? Is it Devin Haney? No, I ain't Haney. So they didn't get the Power Haney fight done. Fuck no, Power fight somebody else. He got uh, Power said he got price himself. So all uh, right, so I think it was another name too that was still a, a decent name. Yeah, he fights somebody. I just can't remember. I can't remember. Hold on. But uh, shout out to Eric James, man. I hope you hit that subscribe button, that like button. But my boy, uh, the only people who be saying that Euro bum shit is motherfucking like casuals, bro. This channel, yeah. watch oh, all oh, boxing, it's the it's the Richardson all boxing, fight. Bro. It's the Richardson yeah, Hitchison, Hitchison, fight. Hitchison, Hitchison, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking about. Yeah. Uh, Eric, he said he could have stopped him, but he he stepped off the gas. It's a difference between stepping off the gas and out of gas. <laughs> yeah, he, he was out of gas. Make, he, he was out of gas in this stop. fight, and he was out of gas against Josh Taylor. Yeah, both he, times. he he boxed his way to v. He was smart. He boxed his way to victory, and he caught on. Luckily, he caught on with that footwork. You see what I'm saying? He caught yeah. on that shit, and he survived off that. And that's good. You supposed to do that shit. That ain't no lucky shit. That's what you supposed to do, bro. This Use fight the other motherfucker exactly to your advantage, was, bro. This yeah. fight was some good work. It was, yeah, it was good, good work, work, right? It was good fucking work, bro. But at, over here on this channel, we not for the just because somebody win, bro. We not gonna be like, oh, you the super shit, no, bro. And you for still the record, got other homie, challengers out there. For the record, homie, I don't even think like that of calling guys Euro bums because if it, anybody yeah, knows bro. anything about me and my commentary, I think uh, the European guys got the card right now. I think that those are some of the best fighters in the world right now. So Especially yeah, the, I don't even the think East, like that. They more shit. The East yeah. European niggas, the East European niggas is running shit, running yeah. shit. And I'm gonna be honest with you though, the Russians will be just as much running if they let them in more often. Russians mm -hmm. don't get a time of day. 
Go go look go go type. They that East, shit in, that's uh, East European niggas too. They what, East that, niggas, yeah, all that yeah, shit over there. Yeah. Ukraine, Russia. Well, all I'm that talking shit. about when we say when we say European. I, I'm always just trying to clear it up because when we say European, people think of the British fighters and you know what I'm saying and stuff like no. that, right? England and all. Nah, that. I think about a Hall of Europe. <laughs> no, you do, you do, but these oh, casual yeah, motherfuckers yeah. don't. If I say if I say that, they be like, oh, Great Britain, or oh, you talking about you know what I mean shit like that. Yeah, 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 Russians, yeah. but. They get in for quicker first, but the rushes go look at it, man. Rushes be throwing their own cards because don't nobody really give them time of day. Like, yeah, and they can fight. You know, they what can saying? fight, like, bro. I be up to tell everybody go on YouTube one night and type boxing live cards. It's gonna be a shit ton of small local promotions in Russia, Ukraine. It, they everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Ain't yeah. like, this nigga ain't fighting nobody, bro. This motherfucker cold because of they style. You know what I'm saying? But, like, like now I said, I ain't putting up my dude in there with him right now. Yeah. And we ain't going to all them... Europe for the record because, hey, that's your whole heavyweight division. Name right. your top five heavyweights that ain't U- European. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Facts, bro. I love and they, all of them. And, then, and, then, and not even that. When you get down to the bull chucks, the Majimals, the Murder Zalis. Yeah. These niggas, yeah. they yeah. fighters, man. They can, they, they can fight. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. But it's like, we gonna let them slip through the crack though. You feel me? We ain't gonna open yeah. the floodgate with these motherfuckers. Fuck around, get a Klitschko brother click again, and they hold belts. We we not doing that. No. Yeah. And, and 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 it's crazy because like the reason I feel like uh Europe is holding holding the car as as Nair saying is because it's not only that their great fighters is active, their good fighters stay active. Mm-hmm. You understand? They stay at like right now. They Sonny stay Edwards, sharp. Sonny bro. Edwards is a far finna fight November 30th. Those are good fighters, and they promoting these niggas like these motherfuckers as superstars. You get what I'm saying? Meanwhile, we may not see Andy Ruiz, a guy like Andy Ruiz, for another year or two. <laughs> right. And then this fight, we just watched. Two good fighters that, that they was promoting as if you would have thought, like, this was about to be the shit shit. A motherfucker casual would have saw a commercial on this shit and been like, damn, this is a big fight coming up. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But that's yeah. how we would look at it. To them, that shit is on the regular. Our yeah. good fighters, our good fighters is still a pick and choose. It's a pick me thing. But Bob got his favorites. His favorites gonna be on every card he throw. Mm-hmm. But his other little good fighters, they fighting for uh, they fighting on other cards we don't even know about. Yep. We don't get to see them at all. You Speaking of good saying? fighters that Bob got, man, when is, when are we going to see Mason again? Any of you guys know? Y'all oh, that motherfucker fighting. Oh, November 8th. Oh, uh, in my hometown. Oh, I, I get to see him in person, baby. His third fight. I was about third, to say, yeah, his you third got that fight this year. Yes, yeah, sir. You in, didn't you? Yeah, hell yeah, yes. yeah. I already got the uh, email, man. I got yeah. my credentials. Everything is everything Gucci. Yeah, I'm in the his, field. His third yeah. fight. And it's going to be his third fight this year. Yep. Bro, I got man, you fight. better come out with some content too, nigga. I gotta see that shit. Man, you Bro. know, I'm now you know I'm in the bit. I'm I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna try my best anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be no, pushing no. this up. You I'm got credentials, the bro. The scrums. I can give you tips on this shit, bro. Just just stay in your firm. Don't let nobody like motherfucker gonna be trying to cut you off and shit in those scrums and shit like that. But just pay attention to the way they move. Keep your eye. That's what I did. Keep your eye, watch where they walking. And when you see man, motherfuckers I'm running up. one way, run the other way. You know what I'm saying? Um, Not run. What I'm saying is like this. Your main dude, you go get him, right? Let everybody swarm him. Go get the... Uh, then you work on everybody else. Then come back and get him. You get what I'm saying? That's how that shit work. Everybody always want the main dude. Everybody gonna be on key shot. And you gonna be in that motherfucker find yourself just recording like everybody else's question. Oh, it's when, cool though. That you, nigga at the crib though, so he ain't got the... He's got the advantage because... You know what I'm saying? He's got hometown home home field advantage. Hey, yeah, yeah, lead you your shit like that. And lead your shit like that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there super early. So I might me. catch niggas coming in the building. Yay. Yep. Yay. That's how you do it. We that's how we started out uh being there early as fuck at the T Mobile. <laughs> yep. That's how we I had uh we had the Mason brothers before everybody. We had uh uh all of them was there. It was F.A. Jogba, it was the Mason bros. And it was uh who else was standing right there? Uh Mike Prince and Jay Prince, all in the hallway. Mm-hmm. Right there in the T Mobile. Bro, that's got, nobody nice didn't know who they card, was. Though. Nobody knew who they were. Oh, I was reading this chat. Uh, and so it looked like Buddy uh Eric. Is that Eric? Eric looked Jones. like he really high. Eric James, yeah, really high on Catterall. Listen, 
And I ain't, I ain't mad at you for that because I think Jack is extremely talented, but he ain't gonna be like undisputed or no shit like. That. Yeah, <laughs> it's, sad, it's sad that he getting his props kind of late. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. He kind of missed his spot. Like that first win should have been his. That was his shit. He won that fight and he got robbed, and that was supposed to be the beginning of his terror. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did get robbed though. I gotta give him that. He, 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 he got robbed on that motherfucker. But, but um, if you got, if he's got it now, he's got to go through like the gauntlet. You, you're never, he's, you're never gonna get there, buddy. Nah, yeah, he got some and that ain't even coming from a place of hate. I'm not hating or nothing. I'm nah, just keeping it real. Nah, he got some ticks. He got to work the fuck out, bro. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, the shit he was pulling in his fight, sticking his head out uh, in front of his front foot and all that shit, boy, shit. Yeah. Uppercut. A quick one. You heard me? A quick one. Matter of fact, when you look at the top 10, it's a hard gauntlet for anybody. Like, I can't single yeah. out somebody who could truly just take over this division. Yeah, nah. 140 nah. so hot. It, it, that shit's... Yeah, I can't single out anybody. Division. Yeah. Anybody can lose on some any given Saturday shit. Anybody right, can yeah. Facts. 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 No doubt. Facts. Like, I can't pick a king in this division, bro. Uh, but if, um, I, if I'm all of them, I'm definitely throwing rocks at T.O. because he's the lineal. Yeah. And you look up, shit. Like, think about it. A kid like Gary Antoine can fuck around and jump back in the mix and shake some, rattle some fences. And then you be like, hold on, wait. That's the you know what I'm course. saying? That's the dark horse right there. Hell yeah. Uh, especially with, because listen, even though uh, Puyo boxed, if he didn't box superbly against Gary Antoine, he loses that fight. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? His right. styles make fights. So yep. Gary Antoine most definitely can beat some of these boxers. It's just that Puyo had the night of his life, in my opinion. Yeah, What's up, bro. cool guy? Cool guys. He's a tank with no fight, Jack. Two different weight class. That ain't happening. Not right now. I mean, if Tank was to move up, I mean, he would probably knock somebody like Jack out. You know what I mean? But they defend. <laughs> they defend Roach fight. His fame. <laughs> I don't defend the Roach fight. It's just a fight. That's how I look at it, bro. It's just a fucking fight. Just a fight, man. Just a That's fight. It. Hey, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm. What the guy? What is? It? I'm denouncing that shit. I don't want to know. I don't want to see that shit. Fuck that fight, bro. Hey, hey, have do you got that drop where you had like fire stick activated? Yeah, I ain't stupid. know my uh, I ain't know my uh, stupid, that bro. drop though. But yeah, I got it. <laughs> what it hey, that's a fire stick fight like a motherfucker, man. What happened, man? I'm just getting off work. Oh shit! Dun dun dun! Oh what shit! <laughs> He what says happened? stuttering because Jack is impressive <laughs> and your favorite fighter can be. He He's impressive for the moment. See, the thing is, like I said, y'all look at fighters as equals, right? And the thing is, it's called boxing. He This was, like I said, it was a proper fight. He fought a, a fighter, bro, a fighter. Something like when you see a, a boxer fighting a fighter, usually the boxer should come out on top. The boxer know how to make all the adjustments. A fighter know one thing, come forward, apply pressure, and hit. That's it. Mm-hmm. But no, no, let's keep it real too. And you got you, yeah, you got to get Jack Catterall some credit for sure. But you just be the man who got trashed in his last fight, bro. Yeah, you it ain't you like you got coming off the loss. You know, or a nigga coming off That's the what biggest, I'm saying. It's a proper fight, fight, bro. I'm not, I'm not taking nothing from Jack Catterall. Got, it's just, it's just, just people. Punished. They right, but you got. I'm just trying to explain to him that you got to understand the difference, though. Like. You can't just say just because he beat Ruru, like, oh, he he's super this. No, it was he's impressive for the moment. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He he looking for praises, and we gotta give him some credit, but come on, man. We we're gonna keep it all the way real with you. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's not shitting on him at all. Yeah. Oh, like I just great, said, great he, performance he, he, from Jack. Great who won, been on oh, Jack won? The, the that's why we call him Super One. Yeah, Jack you know is Jack coming Jack out Jack one of the biggest careers yeah. career. Jack Meanwhile, well, oh, I didn't know. Um Regis is coming off of one of the this most dude. disrespectful ass losses of his career. His career, the worst nigga you the got worst dropped ball. by a pillow fist, right? Yeah, and what I'm not saying that he did what he was supposed to do, but who was in front of him? Shout out to you, Jack Catterall, bro. You did your shit. What it was a yeah. it was a unanimous decision. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It was. Oh, yeah. And he dropped yeah. Regis twice. Regis dropped him once, and he got dropped twice. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, like I said, he dropped we, Regis we, twice and then Regis dropped him once. Ain't oh, Mexican hey, boxing. Bro. Ain't Mexican boxing. That's the point. Devin has no power. God damn it. That's the point. You talking about Devin has no power to stop it. He didn't damage Regis. He got dropped by a motherfucker who didn't have With no power. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Getting dropped by Devin Haney in this point in the boxing community is embarrassing. And Jack Catterall don't got no power like that neither. You can go look and at Regis, all your analysts. Not one analyst said that Catterall was going to knock uh, Regis the fuck out. Dude, not dude, one. They didn't even protect the drop. My grandson is 10 years old. If Devin dropped him, bro, I would beat his ass and be like, you better go back out there, nigga. Right. <laughs> but hold on, hold on. How are you going to say he beat him in better fashion when <laughs> Devin ain't never get dropped? Devin had barely got touched. So how he beat him in better fashion? De he couldn't even reach Devin. Yeah, that's no, nah, bro. Come on, man. Retract that statement. For real. <laughs> man, <laughs> Retract that statement. Devin most definitely had the better out in versus Reach's pro grade, bro. And then um, and then and then y'all reaching, bro. Mexican boxing, you reaching. You talking about tanker never face him. Like y'all look, bro. Y'all don't do nothing but add as much as y'all saying that in a way like you trying to hate on tank because tank won't fight him. You're at you're adding mystique to tank because guess what? That's the name y'all keep reaching for. Y'all keep reaching yeah. to take the fight these one forty pounders, but you won't say tank is weak. You can't say a motherfucker weak if you keep mentioning just his name to fight one forty pounders, bro. And if if tank did go to forty, Jack is the low hanging fruit. He would knock out. This that, that shit is too <laughs> many women, man. people do that. Like you can't have it both ways, bro. Oh, tank garbage. He cherry picking this in the third. Blah 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 blah. He 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 ain't, he ain't nothing. But then when it comes to these one forty pounders, Tank won't fight him. Why you keep picking fucking Tank? Tank, y'all must see some good in Tank then. Y'all don't think Tank can get these niggas fits? Cause I'm not understanding why you keep reaching for his name. If a motherfucker ain't shit, motherfucker ain't shit. You don't talk about him. It is yeah. easy. Is easy. Slick. Why they keep saying? Cause he's the fucking face. Yeah, he's the guy. Wake he's the, the guy. fuck up. And hey man, shout out to Regis. He probably I suggest he just need to retire or do something else. I know he wanted to do bare knuckle and shit like that. Let that yeah. nigga do that shit. No, it's on to the next one. We uh next week, y'all niggas got Floyd Schofield on a trash ass fight next week. Yeah, we're about three that. to four hundred people. Three to four hundred people gonna be in attendance. Hey, I gotta I gotta think. All y'all niggas go live and y'all niggas do a giveaway. Anybody want tickets to that piece of shit, nigga, meet me at the MGM and I and I got a garbage bag full of them trash motherfuckers. Y'all give it away. <laughs> live. What fight you talking about, RC? <laughs> what fight you talking you about? The Schofield fight. They just next week, just, next Saturday. Next Saturday. If who the Schofield fight? Gives a fuck. I don't know who he is. Bro. It's he care. should be fighting tank shit. Hey, put it like this. Nigga, I'm giving two tickets to the Schofield fight in Vegas if you bring me a 12-ounce can Coca-Cola Classic. When is the fight? When is the fight, RC? It's sad to come in. How the fuck you get a fight out of nowhere? The nigga it, just it, it, it came out of nowhere, bro. It came out of nowhere, bro. Nah. Nah. That's How crazy. About What's up, bro? Nah. How about bring me a piece of your grandchildren Halloween candy? Just one. And you get two on this motherfucking ticket. <laughs> Go see Scope. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It got to be one of your favorites. You like Reese Cups or you like motherfucking... <laughs> nigga, it could be a big bowl, kids. nigga. It could be a big bowl. It get dry in my mouth after Reese, two minutes. But you ain't touching them Snickers, nigga. I'm getting them Snickers, nigga. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We that's what we, that's what we were Snickers. saying. There's work for them at 140. Ain't no we need to reach for tank. Man, yeah. the next big Man, fight coming up for y'all is going to be Keyshawn Boots Weekend, November 8th and 9th. You know, straight up, shout out to him in that motherfucking um, Virginia area. They about to Let's get go. Busy. You feel me? November 2nd, which is next Saturday, you got Schofield. Like I say, nigga, I promise you see me in Vegas. You you talk to anybody one of there, get in touch with me. We can meet up at the time, and nigga, you can bring me. I promise you, you can bring me a motherfucking, uh, 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 fucking Twizzler, and you get two fucking tickets <laughs> to the Scorpio fight in Las Vegas live. Hey man, salute the DJ in the chat, man. No right. need for division shopping. 
there's work for Jack at 140. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly, he got bro. all the work he needed, 140. He Matter of fact, he mentioned some tank, bro. He and got Eric too James, much work. Right. He got too much work at 140. Yeah. Eric James, you're right. I, he'll be he'll be hanging. He'll be that Catterall? Yeah, because he'll take chances on him. Really that, uh, yeah, that'll be a uh, chest that shit, yeah, All that shit he pulled tonight against Regis, he could get that shit off with uh Devin, bro. That shit ain't gonna sell. That ain't shit gonna ain't gonna him. sell now. It ain't gonna sell a goddamn thing. Right. But it ain't gonna hurt. All it of the hardcore hurt, boxing fans is gonna be in there for that one. Mm-hmm. And he's thinking that's not I'm gonna lefty. attract no casuals. He's thinking I'm right. a lefty and Devin can't do shit with the left hand. He will make that fight quick, fast, and in a motherfucking hurry. Trust me. If you, got Saturday if you got Saturday night plans, if they put that fight together, you're going to go through with them Saturday night plans. Wow, <laughs> That's crazy, bro. But no, that's on there. Shout out to DJ. Shout out to DJ. Right there. The class. <laughs> The class of the Australian fight community coming up December 7th, right out, you know what I'm saying, with Pyro and Richard Hitchison. Y'all shout out that's you. Man, bro. Richardson Hitchison, boy, you better show the fuck up. That's all Uh-oh. I can say about that fight. Richardson Hitchison yeah. better show the fuck up, bro, because you got gifted that last fight. I swear to God. My, bro, he ain't got to show up. Richard Hitchison ain't giving no kind of resistance. Trust me. He'll be out. <laughs> he'll be fine. That's gonna be uh oh man. So December seventh. Yep. On yeah. the zone. That's December seventh is the Pyro Hitchison? Yeah, that's in that's gonna be in Australia. And I'm here to tell you that boy taking a 17 hour flight over there for nothing. <laughs> oh, 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 he's going to Australia? Yes, he's yeah. going to Australia yeah. to get run. his ass thoroughly is, whipped. Is it Australia? Yes, in Australia. It's yeah. in Australia. I don't know why I thought they were going to Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But Paro, Paro, Paro is the class of the Australian fighting community. Shout out to uh, uh, Paro and the Australians. Shout out to DJ Mugwin and everybody else over there. Y'all go support Paro. Paro is going to whoop the piss out of Richardson Hitcher. Hey, let me tell you something. Can we all remember in school when the when the, when the school teacher we got in trouble? I'm calling your I'm calling your parent tonight, and you knew you was about to get your ass whooped on that school bus, right, and bro. you would ride back. That's gonna be Richard and Hitchison on an airplane ride all straight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you we gonna, to I, I don't know. <laughs> now listen, of course, there's a lot of holes in the game of Hitchison, and I don't think he got enough power to really demand a lot of respect. But he's a boxer, and we got to see Pyro. At this level versus a fighter and a Matias, and of course that opened us a lot of eyes. But what will he look like against a pure, natural back foot boxer? That's what I'm look, saying, bro. You talking about Richard Hitchens? Hitchens? Yeah, man, bro. Man, yeah, 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 yeah. Hitchens, less than 18 months ago was three can goods, and you can see him fight at the Sam Tom Casino on Thursday night. No, <laughs> that, don't, that don't take he away from the nobody. Set, nobody, he fight. Hey, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Salute to Mr. Tier 03, man. Salute to Mr. Tier 03, bro, for subbing up. Appreciate everybody else in this motherfucker be, need to be like Mr. Tears. Hit that sub and hit that like button. All right, fellas, go get my back. You yeah. can't name me. Nobody else Pyro them for it outside of my Hey, I'll take, I take the L. Richardson hits his fault. That's the same thing, though. Well, no, no. That, that's the point I'm making. He was saying Richardson ain't fought nobody, and I'm saying Pyro ain't fought nobody neither. And now you got basically, you know, two boxers about to clash in Australia. Yeah, you well, got let, one, let me you tell got you one this. coming off a win, and you got one that was gifted a fight. That's my thing. My thing was, I ain't saying Richardson is trash, but once he got in the big lights, man, he folded. Ooh. So he better Yeah, Lemos, Lemos had a good night. You give him well, I'm about to tell you one thing else. Lemos going to have even a better night in Virginia because I'm giving my pick right now. Lemos upsets Keystone in North. What? Yeah. We ain't, hey, what? hey, I see. We ain't friends no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I got to keep it real. I got, hey, Lemos been in Vegas working. Bro. I'm t- if I give you the list of fools that boy been sparring and stopping, huh? uh, <laughs> that's fine. Lemo's finna get knocked the fuck out, bro. Lemo's is giant up, bro. 
Damn. Lemos looking at this as an opportunity to get him back where he belongs. Lemo, where he somebody belongs. taking this, somebody Lemo taking this shit serious, bro. Real talk. Damn. I'm just giving you, I'm giving what you inside out of Vegas, bro. He finna get. Uh, Mexican boxer says, guy. "Smart no, man, finally <laughs> got a guy." Hey, Mexican, you got a fan that dude. Uh, <laughs> Mexican boxer said, "Finally, a guy who is involved Tio. here and sees boxing." Tio, race, stop what? Bro? Tio, my brother. <laughs> Tio, my brother. I'm yeah. here to tell you, Lemos is coming. He's he not he coming. fucking he coming. He's sitting, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he coming and he going. I'm, I'm now. I'm sure he's gonna put up a good fight, a good scrap. Hey. Listen, I ain't, I ain't blind, uh, and I've definitely seen the performance he had against Richardson Hitchens, who I do believe is a very ex- extremely skillful fighter, in my opinion. So I know he's coming to fight. You know he what I mean? Coming, dog. It ain't gonna be enough though. It ain't gonna be enough. I'm just saying, though. I'm just from what I'm hearing. Hearing, dog. I'm telling from you, what I'm hearing, Keyshawn working on them hurt bombs. I, I hear that. I hear that. But Keyshawn a little, he 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 got a lot going on during this camp. He just had a baby. Salute to him. Brand new baby he had with the little, the little chick out here in Vegas. Keyshawn bigger than Hitchens too. Remember that. He, he just understand. as big as Lemos. I understand that, but bro, he got he had a lot going on in this camp. He had a new child. He got he got the the hometown pressure. He got after parties all lined up and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They got a parade I heard out oh, there no. for him in Norfolk. You know what I'm saying? How you got a parade that's full of fight? Hey, listen, yeah. after, the, after the fight is up. <laughs> <laughs> but, Tio, how you got a parade that's full of fight? Boxer. Because we ain't had, listen, you got to understand, this is the first real big time boxing event we've had in the city in 30 years. But you can't celebrate it's been 30, before it's been 30 years since Sweet Pea defended in Norfolk, bro. I understand, but you bro, can't cel- celebrate before if he the lose, fight. You ain't lying, bro. If he lose, oh god. He ain't gonna bro. lose. I, he bet not. I, I, I Lemo, all he gotta do is get the 12, man. The judges to take care of the rest, bro. Yeah, Lemo. That's all he gotta do is get the 12. <laughs> yeah, hey, God, Lemo, hey, even if we got to rob Lemos, he ain't getting out of here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, God, God damn. Oh, no, they can't rob the man. Oh, man. Hey, y'all remember how DC <laughs> did uh, a mirror <laughs> Y'all remember how DC <laughs> did a mirror con with um, with damn. your boy, um, uh, Lamont <laughs> Peterson? Hey, man, it can happen. Hold up, but Tio, can I can I give you a little secret right here live on GMT Sports? Can I give you a little secret? What's what that? <laughs> Bob like he He yeah. loves yeah, he Abdullah. <laughs> well, guess we, we, what? We. That's what Tio. They both for the same weight class. Cool. Tell me how many fucks Bob give me. Hey, he don't, he don't, he don't love. Man, he don't love Abdullah that much, cause uh uh uh, 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 uh Keyshawn is so ten. Now when Abdullah do that, then he'll love. Well, him. I mean Abdullah younger, and guess what? He's cheaper to put out there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It, it's not. Wait. See, it's almost like this. If not I give you a fact. dollar, I give you a dollar, and I give you four quarters. And, and, and you ask me for a dollar, when I give you the four quarters of the dollar, Bob ain't giving a fuck, right? Matter of fact, I think we write at about 13. He didn't sold about 13. That's all good. But guess what he's gonna say? I could I could build Abdullah to go to Cleveland and do that. Am mm-hmm. I lying? Four That's quarters on dollar, yeah, yeah, my brother. He, he, he lying, Four quarters on dollar. But we gotta see gotta what, what they Abdullah looks like against already. the first test. Because if you put Abdullah, if you put Abdullah first uh, 11 fights against Keyshawn 11 fights, it's night and day. The competition so, is night and day. You so? I'm positive. He's building fighter, though. He look, building. Look, look He's taking time and building. Fighter, bro. I see. I see. But, 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 but that's because one was asked to be fast track, the other one building. But in the, the end result, it's going to be a little different. And I'm going to tell you why. You're right. Keyshawn took a little bit more stiffer co- a competition. But that caused a fighter to be stagnant. That's why you see Keyshawn having these problems sometimes where he get lax or the defense or he don't press because – he has that type of competition in front of him, so he doesn't really have time to perfect 
what he need to perfect. You get what I'm saying? Whereas if they ever meet, and then you got Abdullah having these fights where he protect uh perfecting his craft, and he finally get in front of a motherfucker, it's gonna look totally different. That's the thing. Oh, that can That's go both ways. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, slick. That can go both ways. Cause he can get as soon as he step into that real competition like Keyshawn been doing. I would love to see him versus Nair Albright. Yeah, okay. I would love to see him after he beat Lemos fight a Lemos. Uh-huh. It's, it's different. Yeah, it's that's different. how I supposed to go. That's I, I ain't saying they probably just hit. I'm with you on that. Now that that point, I'm with you on. But I'm just saying it's it, it's you're saying it's the same, but it's not. You got one guy that's gonna be more comfortable shooting certain. No, shots I'm saying it's certain... not the same. I'm I'm oh, with you okay. on it's not oh, the okay. same. I got you. Okay. Uh, and because he was, you know, fast track a little bit, he's he's polishing his skills on way tougher fighters. Yeah, but you it's it's a lot harder to get too too polished. Is all I'm trying to say. Like when he's trying something, he's at more of a greater risk of getting his ass handled. But that, again, mean, that's why let me he, ask he y'all looked question. the way he looked me, in some fights. Can right. I ask you fellas a question? Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Who was who was the forty something fighters um before uh Canelo fought, let's say a sugar shane Mosley. In the beginning uh, of his career, did he uh, hold on? Uh, Mexicans uh, landscape. It, it was a twi- it was a uh I know who they was. It was like a couple of waiters from Tijuana. Yeah, land niggas uh cutting cash grass register uh workers and carpenters. Shit like that. Yep. Shit like now, that. Who who's the top fighter in, in the world right now? Uh Canelo. Canelo. Exactly. Canelo. Exactly. He was he got to perfect his crab. Right. He got to perfect his crab. That, I get he your was point. moved correctly. You know what I'm saying? Man. Uh, if you look Boy. at it like this, Roy Jones had like 20-something fights to the good before he got Bernard Hopkins. Who right. was those 20-something guys? Right. Man, look. Right. It's perfecting it's, it's, your craft. And, and, but listen, and even in them 40 fights that nobody knew, these 11-12 that Keyshawn got, nobody knows, for real. You know what I'm saying? And in the yeah. 40 price, there were some decent step ups for Canelo. You know what I mean? It's just, what I'm saying is this, though. This is the microwave era. Let the young fella cook. Let him cook. Word. Man, man can, but can, I, can I say this piece, though? And another reason why I'm picking pick Lemo, let bro. Now. Let, let me take this up. Keyshawn. Let him cook. Keyshawn <laughs> got a lot of shit going on in this camp, bro. I'm telling you, I'm here. He saw him going to the motherfucking gym, just had the baby. He in the fucking store trying to pick, and he a new father, trying to pick between Huggins and Pampers to see what's better. He picking out wipes, organic or regular, and all this old shit. He going to the gym smelling like baby magic and desiccated and shit. This other man fucking <laughs> working, working. You get what I'm saying? He saw him trying to play a parade. Pick out and or <laughs> You if, you look Keyshawn, too, right? if you if you keeping up with Keyshawn on IG, bro, that nigga in the gym every day. Yeah, that's what he let you see. He ain't let you every see that half. Well, yeah, yeah. Every you know, everybody, that's what you do in your downtime is what you do in your downtime. But he in the gym every day. I hope you win, he I hope he really win that Mexican boxing for real. I ain't gonna he in the gym, but I'm here to tell you, bro, they got another mo- that other man working. Keyshawn splitting his time with this baby. Planning goddamn parades, planning after parties, trying to make sure his brothers got what they need in the background and going back and forth with Bob with that. Because Bob actually, y'all don't know this, was gonna drop Keon because he couldn't find Keon a motherfucking opponent. Because Keon oh, I, I knew that. Tra- but I look, Keyshaw raised a motherfucking hell. In the fucking top rank office, and he got mm-hmm. Keon back on the car. Yeah, so yeah, you can't get them come to Norfolk and don't display DB three. Well, hey, bro, Keyshawn been having a lot of shit going, and he ain't gonna do nothing but take that out on Lemo's ass. All right, all right. Smelling like baby it. magic, huh? You, bro, yeah. you know, you know, baby magic is get off you, nigga. That smell, that smell of that shit is gonna get off you, nigga. Yeah, that's what Lemo's gonna be smelling like when he's done with his ass, too. A, a whole bottle of death. Hey, right, let me ask you the million dollar question, though, T.O. Are you rooting for him or are you picking him? Both. You can only pick one. You can only pick one. <laughs> God damn it. I'm. I, 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 why can't you pick both of them? Don't stutter. Don't stutter. Now, nah, you gotta pick one. Both of them. 
That's that's how you keep from being unbiased, bro. Are you rooting for this fighter or oh, are you picking him? But I'm biased. I'm saying you okay. <laughs> so you pick right. you pick a key shot, right? God damn it. Yeah, yeah, I'm you biased. pick a motherfucking you, blood. No, are you, no, I want to clear this shit up. I'm for so everybody here. So you're not you're not you're not rooting for both fighters. You're rooting for Keyshawn and picking him, is what you're saying. Listen to me real quick. Oh, 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 I haven't had no boxing like this in my city in 30 motherfucking years. Uh -huh. bro. And Keyshawn has been that shining light in the city. Uh, bro. We fuck with Keyshawn. That's our nigga. Matter of fact, give 45 seconds. Keep on, T.O. Keep on. Keep on. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. We betting the farm on Keyshawn around these motherfucking parts. Okay. Hey, bro. So of course, I'm biased. I want to see him win. I'm rooting for him, and I think he can do it. Hey, bro. I'm gonna say it to you like this. Shout out! Shout hey, out! Up? Shout out! Shout out to the shots that uh that 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 slick. I'm gonna say this to you personally, bro. You you know me. You would have met me personally, bro. You I will it. be here like I was here for DJ and Mark Win when they fucking hard fell out their chest. <laughs> now, now I'm, I'm, I will say this. I think Keisha is gonna win. I do. But I, how? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> that's what. That's how I'm doing. I'm. I, I'm just worried a little bit about the later rounds. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mm. worried about early to the middle. Uh, if he can't get him out of there, I'm a little bit worried about the later rounds. But do I think I think Lemos has to knock? And this, here's my thing: I think Lemos has to knock Keyshawn John uh, Davis out to win this fight, and I don't think he can do it. Nah, I don't think I don't think it'll be a knockout. No, <laughs> if it go to the yeah. cards, we win, baby. <laughs> the, say, we, we, we got a rob. Yeah, Tim Cheetah will <laughs> be in that bitch and everything. The only way I you can care. beat him is cheating, but fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You had Tim Cheatham in the fucking now, so let me, let me, let me uh, Hold up, hold up, Slick. Yo. Hold up, Slick. Tim Cheatham not even registered in the state of Virginia. He gonna be it's going to be all day. three. Gonna it's going to be all Uh-uh, uh, they can't do hey. that. Uh-uh, hey, can't yo, do that. You know, right before you had Joe, let me get 15 seconds. Let me get 15 seconds. Yeah. You know, anytime somebody starts some, something, starts some shit with, like, see what had happened was, it's on some bullshit. And that's what right. the fuck you just did. See what happened. That's why I said, that's why I said give him 45 seconds. <laughs> no, nah, man. There ain't no bullshit. I stand on it. I stand. Again, see, think about, again, in your home, in your hometown. Just like I know uh, maybe a little bit, RC has been biased about Regis program. I have. I have. He, he, he went out. He went out like when he went out. He went out. And when you look at it in its totality, bro, I've been hearing about and watching and seeing Keyshawn for the last seven years here, bro. Real talk. For seven years here, we've been, you know, praising this kid. Mm -hmm. And for him to get to this point where he can do this for the city, my nigga, and to be here is different. It's I'll different, you, bro. bro. I was like that against, like with Shane Mosley, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. I hey, was like, hey, shame, bro. Real quick, Evan, Evan, such of that email. I want to oh, yeah, say yeah, his last name. Yeah, yeah, everything, everything. Um, oh, oh, well, hey, you in there? You in, you in there like swim well then. Hey, you got yeah. it? You yeah. Got it? yeah, it's going, it's going down, man. I'm yeah, about to say, I got it. Uh, I got it Wednesday. Okay, yeah, but well, you in there? You in there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the building. That's man. a good, that's a good dude too. And that other lady, Katie, I don't want to say the last name. Katie, she right. a good dude. She's the right. one that's gonna give you your armband. Katie. Okay. Yeah, she she real cool too. But but another thing, I don't want to get all that in there. But go ahead, man. Y'all keep talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna pick y'all brain about a few things because this will be the very first event I go to as far as having credentials. Right. So. I'm excited about that, man. I'm glad. And it's crazy because I get to be at home, man. So that's super right, good. Right, right. Right, right. And and the after party in the same hotel where they stand it. In in the water, in the waterfront thing. Yeah. Yep. So you well, they got 
Man, they got two jumps, man. Because one gonna be going. Remember, I told you about the main. They got the jump. But, but, at the but like I said, but well, like I said, Bob's budget calls for the Lord <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, they big jump gonna be at the main, man. Rooftop. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey. I'm gonna be in there, and I'm gonna be in there too. <laughs> um, bro. Hey, hey, to DJ yeah. said, to we felt the same about Tim until last week. I told you. Yeah, I, 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 I just said. I just said I'm gonna be here for him when it when it when it when it when it, when it oh, run get pulled. Because you know the snake, the snake never loses. Oh man, you hungry? You still hungry? The snake, oh, the snake, the snake will pull a rug now. All right, pull brother, I gotta go, man. Little T.O. hungry. I gotta. All right, man. Gotta All get right, him bro. out. I might be back if y'all still on. My guys. Right. For sure. Salute, man. Salute. Salute, salute, salute. For sure. Yeah. T well, man, I remember, hey. uh, Bob, Bob I remember how world, I felt, bro. though, bro. I remember how I felt back in the day, man, when um, Sugar Shane Mosley met Vernon Forrest. I was sick. Man. I was sick. And I was Man. like, fuck that. We running it back. I right. sound like that nigga. <laughs> I sound like uh, I sound like a fucking Earl Smith fan. And we ran it back and still got our ass fucked. Right. <laughs> like, God damn. Hell Man. up. Man, Hell up, bro. Bob, Bob a fool, dog. You you'll be you'll be right in the middle of the fucking Roger Rabbit dance, then he's gonna pull a rug in your <laughs> Damn. You'll catch, you'll catch your head right in the middle of the motherfucking MCM. That shit wild, gotcha. bro. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, man. Hey, Lebo, Lebo, Lebo's see, man how do y'all rate this fight, bro? How do y'all rate what? the fight? I it can't cool speak fight. on the card, but I, I, you know what I'm saying? It how do y'all rate fight. the fight? It was, it, was, it was a good fight for what it was. It wasn't a dud. I mean, it was just, it was a fight. Yeah, you know I didn't, I didn't it wasn't nothing rant and rave about, you know what I'm saying? It had a couple moments, but it wasn't nothing like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Cool, six out of ten. Six yeah, you 10. know what I'm saying. It was a good fight. I ain't get a chance to see it, bro. I ain't get a chance yeah, to see it. Nine, like I say, it was nine three all day. Catterall. I will say, uh, Reed just had a couple of moments he didn't ca uh, capitalize on, especially in that seventh round. He had caught that man with a clean two piece, and this dude just marveled at his work. You know how we say, don't don't play with your food. Like, bro, he could he had that boy dead to right stuck. And he just let he him off. He had no hook. hook, bro. Yeah, he, he had no off. right hook. I said, damn. So that's, he had his moments, ups Regis and downs, you know. Was. Regis didn't have no hook, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, not. Regis didn't have a hook. It was a fight yeah. that didn't reach his climax, bro. It had, it had the ups and downs of a movie, making of a movie, but the ending was garbage. You know what type of shit? You know what I mean? Like, neither one could capitalize on other the way it should have been. You know what I mean? He just needed a hook, man. Because because this fight, when you felt, throw the hook, like somebody should got left slip. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, just, when you throw the hook like in a in a sweeping fashion, and you a southpaw, and you fight another southpaw, you know what I'm saying? If it's not gonna hit the target, it's gonna make him go towards your left hand. Yeah. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So he'll move towards you. If you throw that right hook, even if you jab and jab and jab and getting in, and if you throw the right hook. Even if you miss with that motherfucker, it'll bring him right to your left hand. Yeah. And that's the problem. He didn't have no hook tonight, man. Both of them didn't have no hook. No hook. And, and um, feet-wise either, though. I get Catterall. He quick on his feet, but he ain't got no real feet neither. You know what I'm saying? Whether you a southpaw or right-handed, a right hand is so important against the lefty. It's right. so important. Whether it's a hook or not. Think about how Terrence fought Spence. Stiff jab, right hook. Right, right uppercut. You know what I mean? Mexican that's so boxes. important against the southpaw, bro. Mexican box said Regis has a great chin, and that's why it's hard to stop him, but Jack great boxing. I get I could look at it like that too. Great boxing. I get I I could look at it like that too, Mexican box. I give you I give you that one. He's uh DJ said you boys did sound disappointed about the fight. I'm not disappointed. I you heard who I picked last night. It's just that yeah, you. I I'd hate seeing somebody that I'm I'm a fan of and I like to watch fight. You get what I'm saying? And and they lose. They're at that point where if they lose, you may never see them again. You get what I'm saying? Like if Catterall would have lost, I know we would have saw him again. They they were gonna keep him active regardless over there. You see what I'm saying? Before it's Regis, Regis needs this win to stay active in boxing. You get what I'm saying? 
and I don't see it unless he's going to become a journeyman. And like you say, youngsters get to use him as a good name on their resume. You feel me? Like how they remember how everybody went through Gamboa? Yep. Like yep. some That's shit exact like that. Same thing. Exact same thing, bro. But you know what? A million dollar question, man. And I want the chat to um, answer too. Um, plain and simple, is Regis done? Yeah, he done. He done? Yeah, he done. Yeah, he done. He's done to me too. He done. He done. He's done. He's done. Chin or not, he's done. His he he hurt his knee and his ankle on his own. Yeah. In the fight, you know, it had nothing to do and with bro, that. Bro, he all. threw he threw a fucking left hand, man, from all the way to the opposing turnbuckle. You ain't lying, bro. Down. He almost knocked himself out. He, he fell down. down on the ground for a long. He time. fell down, <laughs> didn't he? Right? He <laughs> fell down. Like what the fuck? Yeah, he almost knocked himself the fuck out. <laughs> yep. It just, like yeah, you said, so. man, I just hate to see fighters I'm a fan of and I like watching them fight. And um, it's sad. It's almost like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro, we ain't going to never see him because at least I know that's a fighter. And it, they're becoming far in between of a good fighter that's going to give a great fighter a good rally. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Now you know, these good, fighters good are picking that they... Good win for Catterall, bro. Good win yeah, for Catterall, but for the fact is... Right. But the fact is, this guy came off of a loss. He's coming off of a loss, and he's an Asian fighter, and he's next to shot. He's not completely shot, but he's next to shot. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. He fought a pillow-fisted guy and got dropped. Yes. And there's something wrong with his legs or his foot or something. I don't think it's a chinny thing, but there's something wrong with his legs or something that he just can't get his balance up under him or whatever. And, you know, you sacrifice a lot of power if you don't have the correct balance. So, yeah, man, I think he's done. Walk yeah. off into the sunset, man, whatever you got from this. If you didn't got a couple of M's, man, you know, pay your taxes on that shit, man. And, you know, fuck it. Open up a soul food restaurant. Open up a fucking detail. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't just do that in New Orleans, dog. You got to know how to cook. He said he uh the uh, reach program. He got a YouTube uh, channel. And he be like documenting everything he fucking doing. So like, before this fight, he had a lot of shit going on before he got the call and all that. But he been going back forth. He on that Terrence Crawford shit. Like when he get his money, he go buy property. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's dope. So that's dope. you know what I'm saying? He got a team that you know they call him like, come on down. He got some in New Orleans and a couple other places. And he go meet with them. Like, okay, I want this. I want this. I need y'all to do X, Y, Z. He got fly back Texas. Like, do the business, man. You feel me? He just yeah. letting out the mention. He let a book out. You know, he got a book. I mean, I give oh, it to him. Dope. Yeah, I give it to him, bro. Like he, I think he he's a fighter. Once that happened with uh Devin, he was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I gotta start making some moves. You know what I mean. And, that, and he probably started before that, but I'm glad to see that he. Yeah, a lot of fighters don't got that sense. You know what I'm saying. They most fighters lose all their money and then won't go pound their jury and realize the jury wasn't worth what they paid for. It. You feel me? Yeah. And then they, then yeah. they done. You know what I mean. So yeah. I'm glad he made the moves and all that shit. You know what I mean. He be speaking some real shit on his uh, YouTube shit, bro. I ain't gonna stunt. Yeah. Trust funds for the kids and all that shit. You feel me? He's smart. That's dope, bro. That's dope. He's smart. So I gotta yeah. give him that. I can say just for me as a fan, like I said, these guys that are, that they uh, that they want, I'm gonna just speak for me, that they want me to deem as good aren't good. They're trash. Right? A good mm -hmm. fighter is a good fighter, bro. A good fighter is a fighter that just couldn't get over that hump when he had somebody for real in their face. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. he could give them them problems, though. And it's not a lot of good fighters no more, bro. And Regis is one of the ones where he became champion, true enough, but then he lose it. Then he come become champion again. He lose it. Just can't hold on to it. But if he get in any fighter face, he can give him fits. You don't yep. have a lot of guys that you can say that about, bro. A Sean Porter, bro. A Sean Porter. Porter, but but look at Sean. Where's Sean at? Yeah, tired. It's not, but exactly. You can't, you can't find them, them guys like that. That where you, you get what I'm saying? You just yeah, you know. But so now we got guys in the ring and they beating the fuck out of these motherfuckers. And oh, he's a good boxer because TV said it. But when you look at him, like that dude is nowhere near no good boxer. He's trash. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's why I hate to see him go, bro. Whether he was gonna win again or not, you know what I'm saying? It's the fact that at least I know. He'll be a good test. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Gamboa. Gamboa got what? Three checks off the last of his career. Tank, Devin, and who else did Gamboa fight? God damn me. Out that Terrence. Uh, uh, Terrence. Terrence. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. And then fuck it. I'm out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Get your money, get gone, man. So yeah. you can leave, man, 
with your your, your speech in, in, intact or whatever, you know, that's just what it is, bro. Like I was yep. telling y'all about my last fight, I got hit so hard in that motherfucker, everything slowed down. <laughs> hey, and I, my head spun out into the crowd, and I seen a motherfucker in the crowd, man, with a Budweiser plastic right. cup, drinking some Budweiser. I could see the precipitation rolling out that motherfucker. And you know when I knew I needed to quit, I looked at that beer. It's like, that motherfucker look cold than a motherfucker. <laughs> but I took a knee. <laughs> Never to be in the ring again, nigga. Well, I remember you told me this story. I was like, fuck, no. Nah, it's facts, over. nigga. It's over. He was like, yeah, I saw that shit. I knew I was done. I'm good. I'm done. I was like, that motherfucker look cold as hell. Hey, man, I'm too raw for TV, but I'm going to take y'all some million dollars worth of game. Afterwards, we go to the fight after party, man, I got a ooey knot on my head, man, just before I was married, bro. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Got a ooey knot on my motherfucking head and shit. Uh -huh. And you know what I'm saying? Chick on the dance floor and shit, she thought I won and gave me some pussy that night. I Damn. wouldn't dare tell that bitch I lost. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what up, fellas, man? I missed the fight, man. What happened? Man, Regis lost. Uh -huh. Regis lost 9-3. Yeah. Regis lost 9-3. Nine three, that's well, that Nine three, yeah. He got dropped twice. He got dropped and twice. And got dropped once. Yep. Three knockdowns in the fight. Damn. And Caterall, who won, and who won now? knockdown was more of a he he punched him in the shoulder and it landed on his neck type shit while he was turning. So it really like he hurt Caterall, but yeah. But it was a knockdown nonetheless. Damn. So Caterall won. Yeah. Yeah. Caterall won for real. Unanimous decision. Damn, I'm mad I missed that fucking fight, man. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking uh had too much shit to do. But yeah, man, that that, that was it was a good fight though, for what it was. Uh, you know. It, it was it, it okay. was like you couldn't it was like until the end to the last, I wanna say fuck that knife round, it was like all the way up to the end, I couldn't count Regis out. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Once that ninth round, like mid ninth round, I said, "Yeah, this is fight." This I said, I said "This fight over, y'all." Like, yeah, I think his confidence, like you could just see it, like something changed about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was like he like fuck like like when I said he must have saw somebody drinking a beer. Was like, man, I want to quit. Give me one. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to do this no more. You know what I mean? Damn, did it look like Reed is done? He said he, he yeah. pretty much said he is, bro. Yeah, he he's said done, he is. bro. Yeah. He, he said yeah. he'll go to bird knuckle. He said he will go to you bird called knuckle. Called it nine. Yep. He yep. said, uh, and, and DJ he, yep. said he was gonna get a boxing lesson. I thought that was cap. And then he said, uh, also, uh, he said he think twelve rounds too much for him now. He said he think he'll go to he gonna go to uh, bare knuckle fighting. You know what I'm saying? He, he uh, congratulated him. Said he's a good champion. He said, uh, I'm gonna give you all the. He said I don't fought all the good ones, so I give you the tips. You need to beat them. That's what he told Catterall. So when you hear that, he gone. Oh yep. yeah, I'm watching the highlights right now. Ew. Man, he straight told him. He said, I'll give you all the tips on who you going to fight. He said that in the ring. <laughs> yep. He done, man. He came off. This is two straight losses, bro. Last yeah. fight, he got dropped by a feather fist motherfucker. You know what I mean? I don't see him doing anything else. He got dropped twice. His, I think he sprained his ankle or something, too, in the 11th it, or 12th his, round. Yeah, his knee, he fucked his knee up and then his ankle. Yeah. And it wasn't nothing because of Caterall, bro. He just shot. His legs are he shot. swung, he was like swung a left hand legs. from the fucking turbuckle and damn near knocked his own self out, bro. It yep. was bad. It was bad. Oh, yeah. shit. For real? Yeah. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. And then he it said it in the 11th, I think it was 11th or 12th, he waved his fist and he backed up on his own and went to the corner and, and mm -hmm. wanted him to come in there and just well on Like, Yeah, bro. It was sad to see. You know, like I said, I hate that he gone, but he gone. Yeah, he on, bro. And then um, I'm gonna be real with you, that, that Richardson Hitchison, man. I, I I want Richardson to win. I ain't gonna lie, I want Richardson to win. But I feel like he gonna go in and make Paro look like Superman. Yeah, he gonna make Paro look like Superman, bro. Like God, I see, I see, I see. I see calling for a champ for a title fight for a few years now. Now you get the chance. Don't come out there in blood, motherfucker. I seen Richardson Hitchison fight live before, bro. Dog, he, he, I, I don't know. I, I can't say, because like I said, I'm not no boxing official, not or nothing like that. But dog, I, I, it's, it wasn't impressive. Yeah. That last fight he had was just like, 
bro, what's wrong with you? And I think he was a nervousness. You know what I'm saying? No, I the see, and, bro, you just took the words out of my mouth. I was just about to say, I think Richard Hitson like freezes up under the lights. Yeah, and then oh, now you bring him to Australia in front of all them people. Nah, dog. Nah. Yeah. What you mean? You said no, nah, nah. Nah, I don't think so, man. If he's got a tendency to freeze up, you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Yeah, you got to be able to operate under the light. That's why you hear about so many guys now. Oh man, he whooped this guy in sparring. He whooped this guy in sparring, uh -huh. and you're like, oh damn, he knocked this guy out in sparring. Then you see him fight on TV, and well, that nigga look like trash because he can't operate under the light. And this, and this to let y'all know some too. The last fight Richards and Hitchens had was in the Fountain Blue Hotel out here in Vegas. That venue where he was in whole, I mean, I think he had three hundred and seventy nine people was the uh, final count. That's what he fought in front of, and the thing only holds six hundred and fifty. So uh. you going from three hundred and seventy nine to I don't know how many that's going to be held in Australia, and this is Pyro coming back with that belt in Australia. You're looking at maybe a good anywhere between twelve to eighteen thousand. Hey, hey, RC, I thought that fight was in Puerto Rico. That's what, what, I what fight? What that's fight? What uh, Paro versus uh, Richard Hitson, Richardson Hitson. Uh -uh, it's in Australia. Uh, -uh, it's in Australia. It's in Australia. It? Yeah, it's in Australia. Mark said, Mark said, Mark just said it's Puerto not in Rico, Australia. Man, hold up, I gotta check that out real quick. Yeah, I check thought, it up. I thought but, it was Puerto Rico too. That's why I said I, I thought it was in Puerto Rico. I, I was looking, they were saying this is in Australia because they got the fight is really in on Sunday, but it's gonna be here on Saturday. Mm. Wouldn't Puerto Rico be the same way though? No, Puerto Rico right there outside of Miami, my brother. I don't know, I ain't never been there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nigga, you, nigga, you had world geography before in school, huh? I, I left at the door explorer, bro. I don't know. Oh, nigga. <laughs> Did you pass world geography in eighth grade? Uh, yeah, man. Well, you know, it, it, you know grade, Puerto Rico. Bro. <laughs> I know Puerto Rico. What Puerto Rico? I know Puerto Rico. I just don't know the time zone and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I I ain't doing that to fuck with you, Slick. I'm just joking. Man. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> but yeah, Mark Wynn says not in Australia. I, that's why I heard it's Puerto not? Rico. Well, they must have yeah. changed it. They must have changed it. Cause that's fucking strange to bring Pyro to motherfucking Puerto Rico. Why? Why? Right? Yeah, bro. Right. It's in Puerto Rico, RC. Okay, so they must have changed it because remember when the uh the contract was up for Pyro next fight was going to be against Devin Haney and they wanted him to come back to Australia. Right, right. Yeah, right. I, mean, I, think that's I think I don't think think, right. I think Hitchens didn't want to come to Australia. Oh, oh maybe maybe the, the Australian fight. government didn't want to get behind Pyro. Oh, you, okay, they might didn't want to pay for it. It wasn't gonna be worth it. It wasn't gonna be big. Yeah, enough, you get what I'm saying. Okay, and I can see that. If, uh, anybody if it's from Devin Haney, I can see and, Devin Haney coming back. Uh, there, uh, yeah, that'd be big enough, with the, with uh, record, so maybe hit somebody from somebody's team, from Hitchens' team, you know, had a record or something like that. There'll be a there'll be little. It could be a be, be, be a whole lot of shit. Yeah, but you know, you know, when they have fights in Australia, they want the Australian government to uh, right, help fund right. it. And yeah, they probably didn't want to do it with a, they did they'll do it with a Devin Haney, like you say. They'll do it with a Devin Haney, they wouldn't do it with a uh with a rich right, right, he ain't a big enough name. Right, right. Okay, well, my bad, bro, because I was still under the impression that it was at the same venue that the Devin Haney shit was gonna go in. And the reason why they just uh put Richardson Hitchens in there because Devin Haney out out priced himself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he shows it's that, the exact car, same bro. date and everything that it, the Devin Haney right. fight was going. Right, Hitchens was probably a standby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think Hitchens was just in case that didn't go through. Because Devin said uh, they came out of power mile. He said that boy y'all priced himself. He didn't want the one point five yeah. or something. They was trying. Uh -uh. To yeah, Devin wanted four million. Yeah, and it was they were trying to get one point five. Yeah, yeah. That was, he had never made that before ever. They was trying to. They was trying to get that one point five for the whole fight though, for the whole purse. Yeah, the purse be right, right, right. And so yeah. you're supposed to get like what seventy two percent of one point five. What's it like? Some a champion gets how much percent of the purse bid? Is it eighty? Uh, 60? 80? Is it sixty? 60? 60, yeah, it's sixty. And then the winner, the winner get the other ten percent. It's like uh, sixty thirty, and then yeah, the uh, winner the gets the ten percent. Right. Yeah. Uh, yep. He ain't want it. Okay, well, y'all, y'all educated me on something. Like I said, next week I know in Vegas next week we got uh Floyd Schofield. DJ said Hitchison <laughs> wouldn't do numbers in Australia. And Liam punch. Don't bring numbers on his own. Yo, yeah. punch. Yo, I, I'm just letting you know, bro. Uh, because I know you coming late to the thing. 
Uh, Floyd Schofield is fighting in Vegas next week. I just ran across a dude with like a garbage bag full of tickets because when he's fighting that only holds 750 and Schofield's only sold 200. So I got a pile of tickets I can give away. When you go live, my brother, you can do a little raffle or, or however you want to do a little, little, little giveaway. They can meet me in Vegas and I'm giving away two to six tickets for one Kit Kat. All I need is one fucking Kit Kat. <laughs> and they can fucking have it. You know they got hey, four. You know they got four coming there. I just want one of them. Hey, bro, in the words of Ice Cube, <laughs> God damn this nigga Rufus. <laughs> hey, man, and Punch, I offered that nigga, hey, I offered that nigga like a half a blunt and a bucket of chicken, and he said it was too much. So. That's too much, uh, dog. That's too much. Kit Kat, nigga. <laughs> One fucking Kit Kat out of the four, nigga. Hold up. I Yo, got a better deal bro. for y'all. Yeah, How about a half bro. of Twix? I know they got two. I just want one half of one, and you get six <laughs> tickets, nigga. You can have it. Damn, bro. <laughs> Damn. Top boy, Scofield. Hey, man. Hey, man. His daddy see this shit. He gonna blow his top, bro. <laughs> nah, true, bro. <laughs> All right, you you know how to shut Rob up, Mister Senior. You know how to shut Rob up. Sell some tickets, nigga. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> That nigga said, I'll get them bitches away for free for a tootsie roll. You can have that shit. Oh, no, that's too good. I, I, I'll be asking too much. I, nah, nah, nah. Damn. Damn. How about the paper from the tootsie the, roll? The I black, just smell I just smell what the tootsie roll was in. Bring him a black jelly bean. The shit he don't want to <laughs> get it. <laughs> get it. <laughs> well, I kind of like just black jelly beans. I'm for a stranger. I, I like black jelly beans. That I like it. It's gross. Nigga, you bring me a bag of fucking jelly. Nigga, I'll probably give you the six tickets and buy you two beers with you. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Go get a ticket, get a free beer. That's some shit right there for you. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. Nigga, you gonna need the beer watching fucking Floyd Schofield any fucking week. Oh, shit, nigga. Not, not come man, purchase you know what, a ticket though? and get a beer. Go get a free ticket and I'll buy you Schofield. a beer. Schofield's father is one motherfucker that annoys the shit out of oh, me. Oh, my God. Yeah, his Jesse voice is annoying as hell. Up. Bro, oh my God, God. Bro. See, see bro, y'all. We don't y care about you. We care about your son. And we don't care about your son because we think your son is trash. But Bags, shut bro. the fuck up. Bags. See, this, this is what Slick tells me all the time, Punch. This is what he said. Oh, Rob, if I stayed in it. See, see, Slicker go to this shit next day. Yeah, yeah, because I just like go boxing. To that shit. I would go. Please. I just like boxing. Please. I would. I'd be like, Rob, <laughs> what I got to do? Where the kids? You ain't got to do, gotta do they shit. Can... You ain't got to do shit. Just show up. Just walk in. I'd be in that motherfucker. Bro, I told you what they did to me for the kind of Ben fight. What kind of Ben fought out here like 11 o'clock in the morning? Shout out to Eddie Hearn with his no promoting ass. <laughs> they let me in there for free. Oh, you could just come on. That shit wild, bro. Damn, bro. That nigga daddy looking like this right now. If he looking at this shit, like, look at these niggas. These niggas. Talking. He know I ain't lying. He know I'm not lying. <laughs> he know I'm not lying. We want tank. That bitch ass nigga. Man, we you get your monk ass out of here with that shit. Damn, bro. We beat up everybody in Spartan. We beat up Shakur. We beat up Tank. So he beat up Devin Haney. This nigga said he beat up everybody. We beat Bud up. This nigga said everybody. We beat Vladimir Klitschko up. <laughs> He's like, God damn. Punch. Anthony oh. Joshua got it. My son get beat Anthony Joshua. We just ain't trying to do heavyweight. You were like, man, then you don't shut the fuck up. Punch, you okay to make an announcement on any of the lives you do between now and Friday morning? One Kit Kat, my dog. One, One Kit Kat. Wild, <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm feeling generous. How about a cup of ice? Dude, In man. a great value bottle of water. How about that? Oh hey, my God. Maybe Damn, man. Said, I that ain't even back. good for no Aquafina. Great value. <laughs> great value. Great value. I fuck with great value water, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, I, hey I'm trying to give him some props. Some kind of way. You're right. Hey, is somebody said, man, in the chat about the type, man? Tell RC. Ask RC what's his contact information. Uh, he, can, he, can, he, can, he can DM y'all. He can go on a, and, and trust me, we're going to work it out. And they're going to be very upset that I even gave them the fucking ticket. Trust me. Damn. The goddamn fight is in a goddamn 
orchestra hall at the Virgin any goddamn week. Oh my god! Damn. Mexican boxer said laughing my ass off. Oscar clapped back at Eddie Hearn saying sorry to Regis for worst matchmaking. Ha ha ha. Now he's saying he can't wait for clap back Thursdays. Mark, hey, man, uh, yeah, you've been on point with that shit, too. All, all year, bro. It's been great. Yeah, it is. Schofield said, I mean, uh, Mark Wynn said Schofield would be take on points. RC, you know it. What happened? <laughs> Fired. Wait, so I Schofield do what? <laughs> Mark Betty is fucked for that. <laughs> Damn, bro. When Mark That's said, fine, bro. He when Mark, said Schofield, he, he said Schofield will beat Tank on points, and RC, you know it. Yeah, Tank on points of what? He'll beat him in the match on points. No, no. It, 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 uh, uh, what, uh, what, what kind of points? Get, what points <laughs> are doing what? <laughs> Basketball? Because Tank ain't number five, five. Oh, shit. They may beat him in basketball. Said, you, 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 you talk about a game of 21? <laughs> Damn. Mexican boxer said facts. Tank can be out box. He was he was versus Roly, so pretty sure Kid can do it too. You just, just said Roly. Get the he fuck said, out of here. He said just, just that. Oh my God. Y'all didn't trigger said just that punch, power nigga. stops everybody eventually. That's what he Hey, man. Hey, man. Please. Well, you know what? Won't y'all come to the fight and support his ass then? Yeah, I didn't think it got quiet. Nah. Huh? <laughs> hey, salute to everybody over there on X, man. All 70 of y'all checking us out, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all hit that subscribe. I mean, hit that follow button over there on X and share the stream, man. Salute to everybody over here still rocking with us on YouTube, man. We appreciate y'all. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button as well. Yeah, man. Yeah. But no, Mexican Mexican box got a point. Roly did did out was out until, until that power came. Like he said, he wasn't dissing him. He just said that Cap. he did say that. Did, huh? Roly wasn't winning that fight till he got his ass knocked out. Who said Cap? Fuck no. Roly was getting baited what? into a trap. He might have got baited. That don't mean he wasn't winning it until then, though. He did. He did. That's what he's saying. Well, I was saying he, he's saying the same thing you saying. He's he's saying that he said Roly he was out boxing. Box. He said Roly was getting, him, but then he and then until he said, but he said just that power stops everybody eventually, and it does. But no, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Oh my bad. Go ahead. No, 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 no. That, go ahead. I was done. No, my bad. I'm gonna say this, and and this is for Mark Wynn and all all y'all know I'm a Tank fan. Tank was losing the Mario Barros fight going into yep. the eighth. The yeah, round that, that Tank Barry stopped him out. He was he was losing six to one. Yeah, he was he beating was. Tank six to one on the cards. Yeah, to that knockout came. Until until Floyd Mayweather got his illegal ass up out that row, touched the ring, which is illegal, and told Tank, "Tank, you down. Yep. Tank, you about to lose. You need a knockout. Yep. He was hitting. He was hitting the mat too." <laughs> and that's illegal as fuck. You touch any yeah. mat at any professional fight, you're going yeah. to jail. Right. Yep. Man. And guess what Tank wild. did after after at the floor and say that? He got up in the eight round, hit him with the body shot. Good night, Irene. But Tank was losing. Bad. Yeah, Mario's whooping that ass. He was what he whooped his ass. I'm not that much of a tank fan, not to tell the truth. Nigga, you can hear a pin drop after that nigga said that I shit. Keep God it damn, real, bro. I gotta keep it real, my nigga. I gotta Could keep it real. Believe it. I was a little stunned real quick. No, for real. He was getting his ass whooped. Shout out to Floyd Mayweather. He helped him. Floyd walked behind the fucking judges. Looked at the cards, which is illegal as fuck, and he ran over there. Hey, you lose again. You need a fucking knockout because all all Mario Barros needed was Back fucking down. a round or a round that was in doubt, nigga. He would if they went to the cards, Mario Barros would beat him. Yeah, that's true. Real shit. I, I ain't gonna lie on it. Mm -hmm. Right, I mean, shit. I mean, it is what it is, though. At the end of the day, I mean, it, nothing that's being said is wrong at all. Like, oh. Even it came out of tank mouth. He said himself. He said Ryan would have fucked around. He said he could have probably beat me if his ass didn't get greedy. There it is. I'll give y'all another one. Della Santos was beating tank ass. Mm -hmm. 
until the until he tried that shit. He tried to hit him with the same punch three times. Yeah. Yeah. So Tank is not invincible, guys. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not but on his platform. To, thing. It, it, if it was gonna happen, it should have been him because now he's starting to show his ring. Oh out. yeah, yeah. Now, now, now he a motherfucker. He now. had that turning point when you saw Canelo after uh, Mayweather whooping. Mayweather. Yep. Yep. He, he sees it's just not about a punch. So that ring IQ there now, boy. You gonna do more than that. He gonna come in trying to beat your ass. Once he see that shit, he got a plan B now. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Right. You know, so yeah, he showed that with uh um, yeah, man. Shout out Pitbull. to Tank. If it was, if Tank was to stop right now, automatic hall of fame today. <laughs> I said it. Nah, I said it, nigga. Nah, I said it. Nah, Chip, nah. watch this now. Nah. Watch this now. Nah. Watch this now. No, no, Watch no. this now. Slick. Watch this. Every motherfucking weight class he campaigned at, he was a champ. 26, 30, 35, 40. Hall of Fame. Two motherfucking weight class. Pass his fucking was, hand. How many Pass his fucking hand. How many that times was he the lineal, bro? Man, fuck the lineal. Cass right. his fucking hand. <laughs> 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 Pass his hand. How many times was he lineal, bro? What? How many ring magazines he got? He was... Man, what the fuck about a goddamn ring magazine? What they got to do with anything? That's the lineal. Well, guess what? You got a cast motherfucking Tio hand in. He cast his shit. Because he got two of them. If that's the bar... If that's the bar... Hey, I'm not, I'm not uh, in disagreement with uh, Cass and T.O.'s hand. If everybody stop right now, pause. Pause right now. Sure thing, right now, based on the accolades, and you had to put uh, one motherfucker in the Hall of Fame, I would go with T.O. out of that whole, I would go with T.O. over Ryan. I would go with T.O. over Devin. I would go with T.O. over Tank. And I would go with T.O. over Shakur. But guess That's what T.O. Right. didn't but guess what T.O. didn't do? What? T.O. two weight classes short on Tank. Tank did it in two more weight classes than T.O. But see, guess what though? What? When you looking at everybody giving Devin Haney props, right? Oh, he uh, was Devin, uh -uh. He's just two weight classes though, bro. T.O. has been in in two divisions, right? And he's been one fight away from being undisputed, which wasn't his fault. Each right. motherfucking right. time. Right. Wasn't his fault. So really though, T.O. is technically not, but he's not never, but he could be um two time undisputed. Because the fight before they started stripping um um what's your boy uh who beat Catterall and Catterall just beat Oh, uh, oh Josh Hill. Josh Hill. Yeah, right before they started right after they You know that? Yeah. See how, see how the boxing guys quiet a nigga with that crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> anybody in the oh, chat, crazy. if anybody in the chat that's near a Home Depot, can y'all pick me up a bag of fucking concrete? Because me and Tank me, I I did I did do I need to do my dog that favor. Oh shit! <laughs> that's shit, shit right now. Every weight class he campaigned at it, punch it. every. Fucking one, he became a champion four times. One, two, three, four. Uno's gold strange trifle. Uh, I do it in French. Uh, do, do, do. Hey, I do it in Japanese. <laughs> oh, hey man, you don't hear me arguing. Hell no, bro. <laughs> no, nah, man, but I mean, yeah, he may got him, but he wasn't clearing nothing out, though. That's the thing. He could go, but I, I just don't think he would be revered as high. It don't take much now. If that's if that's all it takes to get in there, then so be it. I even you know said in Australia. Shout out to Mark with a DJ. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Give a fuck. Man, Tang ain't never clears the visions though, man. That'd be the thing. That's that's the shit I be wanting. Go ahead, now finish what you were saying, man. What happened? Man, I don't know, man. Technical difficulties and shit. I'm in the car right now, and the car was like through the speaker of the phone. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right. But um, like I was saying though, he's one fight away from being undisputed. You twice. 
Because guess what? It's not his fault that Loma uh gave up that motherfucking belt. And it would have passed. It would have went through because unification is Trump uh, mandatories. So fuck with Devin talking about when he's saying that Loma ducked him. That's some bullshit. That's some straight bullshit. Right. I never was in the belief that Loma ducked him, bro. No. He went right. and unified with Tiafimo Lopez and went and tried to get that IBF. Lopez beat him. So technically, right. in moral standards, T.O. was uh, the undisputed champion. And right before they started stripping Josh Taylor of all his shit, right after they stripped him of all his shit. Ah, they didn't strip him. He dropped his shit, bro. Because uh, whatever... Josh wanted to go to 47. But I think case... he'll come back to 40 he was, to fight. He was trying to get that Terrence fight at the time. Yeah, he's trying to get Terrence, yeah. Yeah, but right after he lost all his belts and shit, guess what? He wasn't beat in the ring. He was still the lineal champion, the undisputed champion. And that's how T.O. got the lineal 140. Right. Exactly. And T right. So, T.O., if you hit the pause button on all these young fighters' career right now, I'm telling you, guess what? T.O. is the man. It may not look pretty. It may not be, oh, man, you know what I'm saying? But guess what? T.O. is the motherfucking man. T.O. did until his thing. somebody can beat him. T.O. did his thing. Real shit. And he he he's one fight away from being two time on this. Well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Somebody did beat him, bro. Yeah, and yeah. I'm glad Punch on here. I think they call him Bumbosis. <laughs> he did beat him, bro. Yeah, fucked up night. Oh shit! <laughs> fucked up night. Fucked up night. Fucked up night. <laughs> Oh shit! That, but, that. Okay, so, so we gonna we gonna do we gonna do we gonna say Devin in because of undisputed. Okay, let, and we and we on the ringer with Tank and motherfucking Till. We got fucked up night against a nigga that has never smelt the fucking canvas ever, yeah. ever, yeah. ever. But what is he, he? His accolades ain't shit, bro. That's all. What do you mean? You want to you want a title every fucking division you've been in since you came through the door? Nigga, you was given a title so? every division you been in. You didn't win shit. <laughs> nigga, you was given a title. Matter of fact, nigga, on Twitter, they was like, yeah, we about to give you a title. He's like, I don't want it. They still gave it to his motherfucking ass. Yeah, it wasn't a main and title. He didn't want no motherfucking responsibilities of being a champion. He want to fight who the fuck he want to fight. Yeah, I, he never, he, I don't think he ever had the main title, though. He always yeah. just had the, he just always had the interim. He's not he the took the main guy, title from Del Santo. I'm from Del Santo's at 30. Okay, yeah, that was where the real one. Okay, that that right. one thirty-five one and that right one right forty-one. Okay, right. that was the other two. Right. Was a real so he had one real belt. I got you. What you mean one real? He got the real belt now. That's because they gave it to him. Though I'm saying who he be for. That's what. That's why I mean when he was fighting. Hey, man. He didn't fight for. It, you know. Well, I'm sorry, Devin. You couldn't make weight no fucking bull, nigga. I mean, shit. Help first, nigga. Help first. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> Devin yeah. did that uh, undisputed shit, even though I think Loma beat him. I'm standing on that. I still think Loma <laughs> won that fight, bro. I they agree, robbed man. the shit out of Loma, bro. Hey, what's up? Up. So y'all trying to tell me Pedraza wasn't the full champion at 26? Nigga, that's the only one? No, I and said no. Cruz. 30? 30, he beat Del he beat Della Side. I mean, no, uh... Rob, uh, right. Rob, right. Pedraza was a full champion. Okay, so he was a full at 26. So he, got, he was he a got full two, at 30. He yeah, and he, he a two. full at 35. He was gifted at 35. Yeah, only 140 was the one he wasn't. 140 was, was, the, was the Reggie. Was the Reggie belt. Yeah. Well, 40 was Reggie. The belt he won at, at 135 is Reggie. But he did win two. You're right. So two, he ain't cleaned right. up shit yet, bro. That's why I said he ain't never cleaned the division. That's what I was saying. That's what I, I, the I, I the boxing The boxing journalists... Don't look at Reggie or nothing. They look at champion. He had to pay sanctioning fees on the motherfucker. Right. So We're guess what? About, He's a champion. About, I get it. We, but I'm just talking about the... That's why I said, you, if you want to put him in there, fine. But he wouldn't be getting the respect that he would get amongst the others around him. Nah. That's all I'm saying. Hey, man. Hey, everybody going, everybody going has a Going and legacy like you, that, that getting you in there, yeah, you have some sort of legacy, I guess. But when you bring another motherfucker up, then he, it just puts him down. You know what I'm saying? I won't be the top tier when I go to fucking. You know what I mean? But you know what Legacy is? He's more accomplished than Ryan. He's more accomplished than Ryan. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everybody shit, but Devin, Shakur, 
and um um T.O. Nope, he's not more accomplished than those guys. She right. only got two weight classes, 30. I'm oh I'm lying, I'm lying. 26, 30, and 35. Right. Shakur, you, you need to work on 40, my nigga. You you you, you about to get there. You about and to he get can't there. even solve this 35 puzzle, bro. He gotta solve that shit first. Yeah. Because if if he's if he's if he's moving like he's moving to 35, then it ain't no way he can go to 140. It ain't time yet, bro. And he, and Shakur unified 30. Yeah, and you know, I did notice that at, at 26 and 30, Shakur was cooking those niggas at 35, even a little bit more tentative to get punched. So, yeah. you know, kind of, yeah, that's true. Boxing is a game of See, how many punches the head at 135, too. How many, two, how many, two, two right? right, two, right. So, it's definitely early at 135 because the, the last one, right. uh, Cologne or whatever his name was, was supposed to be the third one, and right. he got hurt, right. Right. So really, Zabeda in February is going to be his third one at 35. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah, but boxing is a game of make them miss, make them pay. Since Shakur has been at 35, bro, he has made them miss, but he has not made them pay, nigga. That's, That's what gives the appearance that he is running, nigga. That's he true. is not making motherfuckers pay. He make you miss by mouths. Right. And you miss, and you miss, people, and you miss. He, and he left you. that taste. See, people want that, uh, what's the one he had, the big fight he had, uh, Doof in the fight, never ready again for a second time. Oh, uh, Oscar, Oscar Valdez. Valdez. Yeah. That's what motherfuckers want to see again. Yeah. That motherfucker. Or the Jamel Heron. Jamel Heron. That's what yeah. people want to see. People want to see that. You make a miss, but like you say, you making that ass pay, nigga. You know well, I'm going to ask you this, Slick. I'm going to ask you this question. Since you had said that about Tank, yeah, you will get in, but yeah, your legacy. Uh, what you think about Jamel Charlo? He'll for sure lock to get in. What you think about Jamel? I mean, see, yeah, he definitely for sure like in though, but that, at the time when he, well, it's kind of hard because see, the thing that's gonna fuck him up is inactivity. Like the fights that he was taking, and like you say, the people who had the belts that ain't on him, but the comp level of competition, you know what I'm saying? Like he, you wanna, you wanna come back. Like if he came back right now, right, mm -hmm. like the way way one fifty four is now, nigga, and he, he winning the motherfuckers, bro. You ain't really, really ain't gonna be able to say shit to him just because. You you get belts and and shit don't mean that like oh you just the shit because like like they say it depends on the competition that's why people kind of rag on Terrence at one forty you see what I'm saying right Who, that, that's why they say that you know what I mean all them guys he got them belts from them wasn't no top tier motherfuckers you know what I'm saying so like you know that that's all I'm saying you know on that point I just want to get your opinion on this what what y'all other fellas think about that nine punch Jamel Cholu. Hall of Fame. Cause he in there. Whether you like it or not. Yeah. I think Jamal's Hall of Fame. Jamal, I just feel to get team in, but that's just my bias. But you ask me, I ain't know a lot of niggas. I knew two of the niggas Charlo fought. Three of the niggas Charlo fought on this path to undisputed. You know what I mean? Um do he, did, he, did, he, did, he do, did he do enough to get in? Yeah. Hell yeah. He did. But just to be, to be fair, yeah. But in reality. I, I would I would need to see one more marquee fight at fifty four to, to really determine if he's true. If he hard. come back and like say in what the way it, the division is now, and he do some damage. He come back and dominate now. And that division, was solidified. Bro, real talk. And that's right. not asking much of him because he he's been gone. You get what I'm saying? Well, right now why do I say Jamal is part is more of and this don't got nothing to do with a Canelo because, fight or none of that. You feel what I'm saying? Jamal is one of the most duck fighters his in his division. Like everybody was ducking him with division. That wasn't happening with with Jamal. You know what I mean? Right. So, right. Right. Now let me ask y'all this question: What if Jamal Jamal comes back, do his little tune up, and this dude fight Murder Tyler, the dude that just fought Tim Zoo, and and get his shit at IBF? Yeah. What you say then? Yeah, you know why I think uh, Charlo will beat? I think Charlo will beat Murray Tyler. Because a lot of people, hey yo, hey yo, slick. I don't know if you did the research, but you know that one loss to Murray Murray Tyler had was who, who was two, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Who? Who? Uh, the nigga Crawford just fought. Oh, oh Madrimoff. Madrimoff beat him. Yeah, Madrimoff is the one loss. Damn. Oh wow. Oh wow. Damn. Did not know that. Did not know that. Yep. I mean, that still speak volumes still for both because he still end up being. The one of them eleven, the one of them eleven wins is Murder Taliev. So that tell me right there that well, Madrimov could beat him. 
<laughs> Bo check approach. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's not, the, it's not the rain down names. It just seems like he looks so good against Tim Zoo. That don't mean he's going to be anything against some of these top 54 guys. I just, that's why I tell people, like, take that. Oh, bro, yeah, tell no, that performance with a no. grain of salt. Because, that was, bro, that was... on Twitter, niggas is talking about what are you going to do now? You know how it is when you when you dominate somebody. Yeah. Who they got, who they but that was the same job. thing with the high job today. Take his it place, was a... but, like, yeah, like, that, that, but that herky-jerky style gave him a lot of problems, just like it did Crawford. So that's what I say. Like, niggas don't sleep on Madrimov because one of them names on that record is the boy who just cooked him zoo. Yeah. All right. All right. And and not and like I said, that still would be a good win for him, though. It's a great win. It'll be a good win. You know what I mean? But I, I, I think I think Charlo and I think Charlo would box Martella way smarter than Tim Zoo did. Well, that's the thing. Tim's not a boxer. That's what I was saying. Like, Tim's a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And, well, and the I, other guy that I they thought, he, yeah, I remember I said that was like right about Tim Tim Zoo, Tim Zoo fight backing up, bro, and clearly no. And Murder Tyler, they can't. They thought he was gonna come in being a fighter, but he showed that he could box. He could box. He showed that yeah, IQ once he figured him out. Shit, his feet got to work and turning that boy and all sorts of shit. You know what I'm saying? Tim didn't know which way was up at that point, so it was like you know. That's why I said even though he lost the uh, Madrimov. I think that would be a good win, a good win for Jamil. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, that ain't me taking nothing away from Madrimov. I was just saying, like, let's tell you how tough them Eastern European motherfuckers are. Yeah, we was talking about that early. Like, say, why they don't be letting the Russians in, nigga? They be knowing what's up. Like I say, you could YouTube that shit. They be throwing their own cards, and I'd be like, damn, he motherfucker hit harder than the motherfucker. Well, and, you and know why, you right? Wonder. Do you, you ever make... watch how overseas countries train their fighters? Hell yeah! Like, bro, you got right. it. Like, it's like a big that ass Russia program. Style ain't no they, joke. You show any type of sports talent, and like, no, I mean, they take you from your fucking parents, and they have you training in that sport till you about 21, 22 years old. Yeah, you know they're what I mean? amateurs today in their twenties, bro. Like, for real, like China doing that with basketball players. Go, go, go! Uh, download kids training for Chinese basketball. You'll be stunned with what you see. And you bro. know what else, though? That's the problem with American fighters, bro. Look at it. We got Shakur. We had Chris Colbert. We got um, Devin Haney. We got all these young American fighters, and they're trained in a way that they don't develop power as they get older. They don't develop so power. So we have a whole fucking class of nothing but Pauli Malinagis, dudes mm. who haven't developed power. Yep. I've been saying this no shit power. for the long time. And now, who was it, Mark? Once Wynn? these guys are starting to get into these tough fights, and they can't swing hard enough to get a motherfucker up off of them, now motherfuckers know what we what, what I'm talking about. Now to go back to like uh, Rob and when we saw about Tank, Tank, he's around guys who know boxing. Calvin and them, they know fucking boxing, and they trained him for as a kid in a way that develops power. And so now he's a grown man with grown man strength and grown man power. That's just what it is. Who is that you saying? I'm sorry. Who is that? Who are you talking about? I was talking about Tank. Tank is. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah he was yeah. trained in a way to develop power. He was grown. He was groomed. That's yeah. that's why I, when I did that breakdown between um when I was telling right, I'm a fan of Shakur. But if you look at when people they say Tank ain't fought nobody, but if you look at their records and shit, like we take their last 21 fights. You will see the difference where Shakur is pretty much fast track. Yeah, he fought better competition, but that's why you see him still kind of fighting the same way. Whereas you had Tank that's putting a lot of situational fights and they was developing who he was. You see what I'm saying? And now yeah. that's why you get the fighter you have today. It's just Think how about you build professional, your fighter. Professional Tommy Hearns back in the day and 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 amateur Tommy Hearns was two totally different fighters. Right. Amateur right. Tommy Hearns would box circles around you. Professional mm -hmm. Tommy Hearns, you would be afraid of that big right hand because he right. developed power. He was trained in a way to develop power. Right. You know what I'm saying? Only, only thing these dudes is, is all, you know what I'm saying, amateurs that's going 12 rounds. I hate to say it, bro, but that's just what it is. They all amateurs that go. Hey, they not sitting down on bunches. Mark Wynn said, Madrim, my bad, uh, nah. uh, Mad, Madrim, uh says he's never fought Madrim. I got, somebody look it up. But, um, yeah, man, no, scratch right, that. Man. I was wrong about the Madrimov thing. Oh, okay. It was an amateur fight, not a professional fight. Muratalyev was undefeated in pros. Oh, okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. It was an amateur fight. So scratch that. Beat him as a pro. Beat him as an amateur. Got gotcha. you. They both had 129 <coughs> amateur fights. How do they be fighting so much as amateurs, bro? Because that's how you get your instead of like okay. That's why I, I was talking to um, That's crazy. How much do the average American to, fighter fight? I got a video. I got a video 
Well, I was I had a long conversation with uh, Evander Holyfield, right? Um, and he was like, you know, that's what's wrong with us over here. It kind of speaks to what Nine is talking about as well. Um, they stay in the amateurs because by the time they get to the pros, they didn't see every style there is. And Holyfield was like, that's Makes why sense. American fighters should stay in the amateurs longer because that's what all the Europeans do. All right, so that's why he Lolo said, we got come a get title the money. fight in his second world fight. When, uh, right. Fight Lolo got a title shot because he's already pretty seasoned. I get it. Yeah, but I was so, like, how the hell does he get a title shot in his second fight? And then you seen like, oh. Yeah, we talked about that a long time, bro. And he said, they get us with the money. You see what I'm saying? He was like, the you know, we come from poor backgrounds and shit like that. So we we hurry up to go get the money. We're over there. They got like sponsorships. A motherfucker will have they back until they feel like they ready to come out. And you know, well, and you know, if you're from a communist country, they take about seventy five percent of your purse too. Yeah. So like you know, it, that's how they do it, bro. And that's why they end up being better. He was like, that's why they end up looking good and being and better. And if you lose, better, you, they make you, like, they turn you into a disgrace. Remember that dude that knocked Joe Lois out in Germany like, for yeah, Germany Max, from all Max, the years. Did you Max, see what Germany? Uh, Schilling. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see what Germany did to him after he lost the rematch? That's what they do to you in yeah. communist places when you lose. Yeah. Yep. But then that's one way of giving them a ton of amateur fights. But right, DJ. Was, that's what I was, was saying. called the Mexican way. Like I was alluding to Canelo. Canelo was moved in a typical Mexican way. Chavez, Mexican way. Motherfuckers was 80 and old before they really fought somebody that we knew. You right. know what I mean? Like right. shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's the Mexican way. Have them go pro at 15. They go yep. pro really young. And then they just fight a gauntlet of styles and boom, 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 boom and take cal calculated risks. Right. And that's the same, like I said, Floyd, Pretty Boy Floyd, that's his, that was his era of grooming. You know what I'm saying? Same way they did early tank. It's just, well, that's if how you they think do about it. it, like the early fighters like Hagler and Hearns, how many did they fought a lot amateurly, right? Ali did too. It's just like as the years progressed, we just stopped fighting more in the amateurs and just jumping into the pros money wise. Hey, you got some, you got some European amateurs that have fought 200, almost 300 fights. You know what I'm saying? I but we know, not I, fighting. I don't know no American Cubs American general, guy that fought no two hundred. I think we should fight. Amateurs. Yeah, I think we stop fighting. We don't fight enough because I was looking at some of the like top today champions, American champions, and how many times they fight amateurs. It's like forty fights, fifty fights, bro. That's just crazy. Yeah. Think about it like this, and and Slick has said this shit a million times, and this shit is true, bro. Don't you know guys would be like twenty five fights, thirty and zero before they even seen a title shot. Right. I swear to God, bro. And so, in, in one hand, they saying, you know, uh, oh, man, this motherfucker ain't fought nobody. Well, he ain't really supposed to have fought nobody. Right. Exactly, bro. But see, the way it is now is the sanctioning bodies just go down the list. Oh, you lost? Okay, I'm going to just give you the belt. Yep. And so now we got, like, a whole bunch of young, look at Boots, look at Brian Norman. We got a gang of paper champions. It's really unproven because they ain't fought nobody. They ain't fought nobody. Exactly. And, and so they, instance, they, they, they instance, expected to perform against the highest level and most elite motherfuckers. And guess what? They paper champions. They just was given a title, bro. They like, didn't, they've like, never beat an incumbent champion. They've never even beat, I don't think. A good fighter, bro. Ain't beat a good fighter. Look, yeah. okay, case in point, case in point right here, bro. Okay. You made it to HBO. You went for Friday Night Fights, and you made it on uh, boxing that because when once you left Friday Night Fights, nine times ten you gonna land on HBO uh, boxing after dark, right? And boxing after dark had all the good fighters, maybe not champions all the time, but a lot of good fighters, right? Case in point: Terrence Crawford, Breedish Prescott. Breedish Prescott was touted to be the next big thing, but he was a good fighter. You see what I'm saying? Terrence went uh, that same night. Terrence went up and beat his ass. You see what I'm saying? So that put them on Terrence. He just beat the guy that we was finna crown to be the next best thing. You understand what I'm saying? So that's like, so where is Boots? Not just alone a champion. Where is his good fighter that he beat? A good I fighter he, that I, you see that, that, that he'll And, and, and to finish your statement for you, Slick, Prescott beat the guy who we was crowned to be the next best thing first. He Facts. beat Amir Khan. Facts. He, he took Amir Khan's first loss, knocked him out. That's what I'm saying. You, you, so I hope everybody follow. You know what I'm saying? And Where is the good fighter? Amir, Amir Khan was trying to get a fight with Mayweather. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 look at that's that question. DJ asked, hey, Slick, that's a good question. I can answer that one pretty good, yo. What? 
Look at that, look, look, that last question DJ asked, bro. That's a good one. Put that up. As a general rule, how many fights does a U.S. boxer have before they complete their pro apprenticeship? I'm not understanding it. Are you asking how many amateurs? How many amateur fights do the average American have, basically, is the question. So you got to ask nine X. Some of them. That's a good question for nine. That's all subjective, bro. Yeah, <laughs> some be like 80, some be lower than bro, 80. Bro, I just I know, know it's not as many as a Russian. Or, or, I know guys you know that never went, never fought an amateur fight a day in their life. Facts, facts. It was a heavyweight dude that came in was whooping there. What was dude's name, bro? He had like an African last name. Short. He was only like five, five. Them motherfuckers were beating everybody else. But he never fought amateur, ever. Never fought amateur. Never. He was coming in rocking everybody, bro. So I've, I've, I've had fighters that I've worked with, that I've coached, who, um, Fought tough man contest. Keep it going, y'all. I'll be right back. Yeah. I've had fighters that I've worked with who fought tough man contests and had about two or three fights in that tough man contest. And somebody said, Yeah, man, I'm throwing a fight card. You want to go pro? They be like, Fuck yeah. How much you going to pay me? $400. Bet. <laughs> and motherfucker go pro. So all that shit's subjective. But for the top level, nines out of 10, man, like, you know, they've had a good amateur background. Some guys, man, anywhere from I mean, amateur fights, um, anywhere from 20 to 80 to... There's some guys out there with 300 and some amateur fights. You know what I mean? So who knows? You know what I'm saying? That's all subjective, though. It just depends on the fighter. Because, you know, it's guys that's never had an amateur fight a day in their life and ended up making some noise. Look at Ernie Shavers. Ernie Shavers is touted one as one of the greatest heavyweight punchers in the world, but he I don't even think he had an amateur fight, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he had like dangerous, scary power. <laughs> yeah. They said he went to the gym and was like, hey, do y'all think I hit hard enough to become a boxer? You feel me? And he's one of the most dangerous punchers of all time. Big ball head, scary looking motherfucker. Yeah. I watched a documentary back in the day, man. Shout out to this documentary, Facing Ali, where it was talking about all his ex-opponents and shit. And um, he was one of them. And he was like, yeah, shit, I, fuck it. I'm going to make some money. Fuck it. They was all talking about cold it. cash shit about what they did to Ali. They was getting cooked. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. I seen that before, bro. I know exactly what you're yeah. talking about. I love watching documentaries about Ali, man. I think young Ali is one of the most inspiring niggas ever. Yeah. Now, Ali did it. He did it right. He worked through the system. Ali is from the cloth of um, a Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, guys who did it right, did they amateur fights, won the gloves, won the AAUs, did the Pan Am games and all that shit, and then got their ass a gold medal at the Olympics. <laughs> he did it like that, the traditional... Where? American star way. Now, like what did Cassius do when he got off the plane and tried to go into a white restaurant and got told he can't come in? What did he do to the gold medal after that? He threw that shit in the Mississippi River. Threw that shit in the fucking <laughs> river. Fuck this medal. <laughs> All right, I'm back, fellas. I'm back. Dang. Well, who, which, who y'all talking about? Ali. When Ali threw his medal in the, in the Mississippi, nigga. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. Fuck this country. Dude, fuck this <laughs> motherfucker, bro. Motherfucker, you come back to that shit. They, you, but then they, think about it like this, though. Then you had your certain classes of guys like your Marvin Hagler's. That's my nigga. Your Mike Tyson's. Uh, your Bernard Hopkins. Guys who were good amateurs, but didn't make it to the Olympics. Right. Your, your Terrence Crawford's. Right. Because they concentrated more as an amateur on a professional style. They had right. a pro style in the amateurs, and they wasn't scoring. They lose these bullshit ass decisions. But as a pro, though, with the pro style, though, they was inflicting bodily harm to motherfuckers. Harm, stopping which, which is why motherfuckers would dodge them. Yeah, you know, what holy for you? What, you know, motherfucker haggling. Well, that's my nigga. That's like my you nigga. know the Ray Leonard fight. We was talking about that. I think in my live the other day, right? Uh huh. And that is a world-class professional fighter versus a world-class professional pro. Amateur, right. I mean. You know what I mean? Right. That's just what it was. The top gold medalist, you know what I mean? Guy who knew how to box and knew his way out of a ring versus a top 
professional fighter that knew his way out of a ring. And right. it just all depends on how they groom a fighter, you know, right. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. and like I say, it's like raising a, I hate to say it like that, but how you gonna raise your pit bull? Yeah. Just straight up, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know, teach him to win on points, and you gonna teach this motherfucker from day one, get this motherfucker out of there. Yeah. You know, you can see the amateur style in a lot of these fighters. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you know, no disrespect to him, but look at a guy like Chris Colbert. He's got right. a lot of amateur style in him. And, you right. know, that's why he's not moving up like that. That's why he ain't hurting motherfuckers like that. But that's another you know guy saying? we shouldn't have been seeing. We should never seen him early as we did, though, because mm -hmm. we wouldn't have that type of judgment. He would have had time. To that's true. In the face of the public and work on shit. You know, I think mean? Lil B Hop was more focused in prime time, nigga. You know, you you want to yeah, know somebody yeah. else who had way more fights and had a little bit more success, but was just a straight up amateur fighter. Who was that? Did y'all probably Boo Boo Andrade? Yeah, he hell yeah, I hell yeah, yeah, Boo -Boo? hell yeah. Boo Boo hell Andrade yeah. was a top amateur fighter, and if you think about it, in most of his fights, he could go a cool solid four rounds, which is an amateur fight, maybe five rounds, then he starts fading in the end. Yep. Yep. Even as a professional, he fought like an amateur. Yep. You ain't never lied about that shit. And he probably, and, you know, and don't grabbed let the it first, go. first four or five rounds and then rally at the end after he get a second win and boom, come back. Yep. With David Benavidez, on the other hand, though, he wasn't an Olympian. He wasn't a boom. So he was prepped as a pro. So guess what? He just bombed him the fuck out. Right. That was a professional fighter versus an amateur. That's a good example, bro. You ain't never lied. You ain't never lied about that shit. Real that's shit. That's why everybody oh. looked at Boo Boo like he can box. Look at him. He can box. He can box. But yeah, that style of boxing you use ain't, ain't gonna last long. But he never made a transition from a um, professional right. style. Yep. To to a uh uh a amateur style to a professional style. And let's get it though too. A lot of these guys too, man. Like, think about it. Um, like a a Shakur, right? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you could get a kid like Shakur, right? And he's mm -hmm. been with his grandfather his whole life. Mm -hmm. And you be hard-pressed to tell that kid, you better not be loyal. Right. So, you know, on some men, but maybe what if the coach, you know, can only teach this certain way, this certain thing? And, you know, to my Aussie brothers down there, that's the point I was trying to make with um Tim. Right. You know what I mean? Like, bro, like, I would, I'm going to send that um, tape to y'all so y'all can understand exactly what I was saying. What I sent in in, in the, uh, the text chat after uh -huh. the fight, the footage of his father. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so he's pretty much with the same people, the same crowd. So they only know that one way of doing things. Yeah, it's the whole family They have thing. they one way of doing and, things. And, and I was going to steer it to this way anyways, because before we get out, I, I definitely wanted to, uh, this is for DJ. I know they say about being their family, he ain't going to leave and all that, right? Well, we just watched Hatton. I don't know if y'all know. Well, y'all know who Hatton is, right? You know Matthew Hatton? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, they close. The uh, uncle trained him on up along with his daddy and all that shit, right? Mm -hmm. Matthew said, fuck that. I'm out. And he went and got Ben Davis. Sometimes you got to do some other shit. Now, I'm be real with you. I don't think Ben Davidson was a good fit. I don't think Ben Davidson a good fit. I, I like Ben Davidson. So when I'm saying this, I'm not dissing him. I just, and I've said this before, I think Ben Davidson is a good addition to a team because he's good at coming up with game plans. He's just not good at showing you how to execute a game plan, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? He, he's good at situations. You know what I mean? But he left because he wanted something better, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, at, at some point, you got to go to somebody who can teach you something more. And if that young man chose to do it, Tim got to, at some point, as it's your career, you got to make that decision. You know what I mean? And I think Tim needs that. Tim needs somebody else to show him. Some defense, this and third. Now, I will say, tonight's fight, when I was watching him, he had some good, uh, 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 his defense was a little more tight, but them hooks is too wide. You know, Matthew got a lot to go on, so I ain't saying Ben... He went to Ben and Ben approved him. Said, "No, nah, fuck that. That shit. The fight would look. The fight it looked exactly the same as the first one. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It looked exactly the same as they, that first fight. So, uh, but it's just the point that 
You know, and he only been with him one one time though. But I still don't think Ben Davis is good. He could have went with Kraken or somebody, but he chose to go with Ben. But at least he he realized the shit that they're teaching me ain't nobody trying to correct me. Ain't nobody trying to, you know what I'm saying? They just letting me do me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yep. And it speaks volumes for him to go seek out somebody to uh, want and want to create. I mean, wants to correct his problems. You know what I'm saying? And Tim needs to do that, bro. Tim yeah, more to, and, and it could be done. Bro, you stand yeah. loyal to your people, but at yeah. the same time, everything has a price. And when yeah. you when you're a professional man, you know, I'm, and if y'all can, if Tim Tazu can hear this, bro, name your price. Right. Name your price off tops, and realize what the fuck do you want to do? Because you know, certain there were certain flaws in his game that could be corrected, and he's not a trash fighter in my eyes. I don't care what nobody say. He's not a trash fighter. I had him touted as one of the best, but I knew he had things he had to work on. But he's not yeah. a trash fighter. He just needs to get away from his camp and go start working with some other coaches. Check you know this out. Saying? Check Look, this out, DJ. Imagine, I, I, imagine coming up. Imagine coming up in the gym, about to go pro, right? And no matter who you fight in the pros, they got you fighting the same fucking sparring partner. Mm-hmm. That shit is going to serve you no fucking help. No good. Nothing. At all. At so all. that's the same. That's all I'm saying. So he says, so we don't even know yet. Tim might just have limitations regardless of his team. Facts. That may that's be true. true. But look at, yeah. look. okay, let's say this. Let's say this. Uh, Miguel Cotto. Miguel, Miguel Cotto had reached the cap, right? Where it was like, Miguel Cotto just going to be Miguel Cotto, and he started losing, right? He went and got Freddie Roach ass, though, and them tattoos. He was he was he still looked like Cotto, but he was a lot sharper. Miguel a Cotto lot more had sound. his uncle. He yeah. had his uncle. He had his uh, uncle at first, right? Yep. And and then he went. He left him because he started losing. He got Freddie Roach. He came back with arm tattoos and shit. And that motherfucker still looked like Cotto, but he was a lot sharper. His defense was better, and he saw back winning. Mm -hmm. So and that's why I say it's not too late for Tim. The only way it'd be too late for Tim if Tim don't make some real life decisions. So you're right. It may not be them, but why stay there when you know that's not working? Leave and let's see if it's you or not. You see what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I think Tim need to go to somebody else that could teach him his feet, teach him by the bringing only thing that hand that back up. A fail is a try. Is a try. Bro. There you go. The only so thing man, my, try, that's bro. crazy, bro. My family, my uh, family used to tell me that shit. Only thing beats a fail is a try, motherfucker. Yeah. So you know, get some get somebody different out there, man. You know what I'm saying, and and and, and try some shit with some different people, because yep. it's ridiculous that you are a professional fighter and nobody in your corner told you to bend your motherfucking knees. You yep. know what I'm saying? Just simple shit like that. Because at the end of the day, when you do nothing, guess what you get? Nothing. Nothing. Simple nothing as that, from bro. nothing leaves nothing. Chris Look Eubank. Chris Eubank got a cold ass little speech. He say. He say everybody, he said, risk is important, whether you lose or not. You know what I'm saying? When you go talk to a girl, you risk rejection. You know what I'm saying? You know, anything you try, you know, when you get in that boxing ring, you risk losing. You know what I'm saying? But a motherfucker who don't do nothing, they get nothing. So you can't talk bad about a motherfucker who out there trying, regardless if they losing and losing and losing. But guess what? They still fucking try. And that's all I want Tim to do, because I think Tim can be a good fighter, bro. I don't want to write Tim off. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't. I, I think this was actually kind of good for him. He, that fun door was, could, you could call it a fluke or whatever you want to call it. But this fight that just happened, it was minor adjustments that could have been made. You know what I'm saying? That could have took a further in this fight, whether he would have won or not. And those are mistakes that are made from who's in his corner. Nobody's telling you to keep your hand up. Nobody's telling you to move X, Y, Z. Nobody's giving you those situations or game plans. You need to hear how to make adjustments. That's why I keep saying his team. So make the make the team, you know, make a team that's going to work for you. That's all I'm saying. Because Tim, he got the mechanics. See, I look at, like, I look at boxing through a different lens than a lot of people. If I see you got the mechanics, and having that is more, way more than a whole lot than somebody who just want to be. And if you got the mechanics, right, you got to find somebody who can build upon the mechanics. A lot of trainers today like to train, change fighters. You know what makes Freddie Roach a great trainer? Every boxer he's had, he's never changed them. 
he's only added to them and they got good at they got great at what they're good at and then he added to that not oh you stand this way i feel like you should be more of a boxer case in point edgar belanga edgar belanga is a fighter he got all his knockouts but the minute he hit the big time they wanted to turn him into what a boxer ever since he's been a boxer he ain't been what shit <laughs> You don't change who he is. You build on top of it. So I'm not writing him off. I, I'm not saying you writing him off, DJ. I'm not. I'm just saying I don't because a lot of people are. But he has the building blocks to be that. That's why I said I was never sold on him. But he has enough of the mechanics where somebody can take him and bring him back to life. That's all I'm saying. And so, and I don't count the front door. Again, that was his team. His team could have stopped the fight. That was a team decision, right? They could have stopped the fight, but no contest. Won't be no more title shots. This fight, happen, this fight right here, nobody gave him no clear instruction how to change shit up. Nobody. Right? He's a young fighter. I don't expect him to have that IQ just off the bat. I, I'm firm staying that I don't think we should even do anything about Tim Zoo right now. They just put Tim Zoo out there because of his namesake. Like Nico Ali Walsh. Nico Ali Walsh ain't no, nowhere even a good boxer for real, for real. Not at I all. like him. I like him, but they put him out there because he's the grandson of who? Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. We shouldn't know nothing about them. They should build a power on themselves. And if I'm Tim Zhu, I'm not coming back for a year. I'm finding me a trainer. I want to look at that fight. And I, I, I just want to know what I need to do to be successful. You know what I'm saying? So I, I get you cautious. You're cautious, and guess who should be more cautious? Tim Zhu. But hey, I'm, I'm afraid that that's what's happening with Earl, man. I'm, I hope Earl ain't in there trying to switch up his whole style, bro. Nah, he ain't. He can't. He's too old. That's saying it's true. You can't think of, uh, teach an old dog, uh, change an old dog. You might need to teach him some new tricks, but you ain't going to change him. He, he can't. You can't. And he's at the age where he's definitely. I hope he understands that was right. just a bad style matchup. There wasn't really. It had to do with him, man. It's a terrible style matchup, bro. I hope you well, understand. yeah, yeah. I talked, man, for a whole year. It's something I was telling everybody, bro. Dude, that style is tailored for a bud, and and everything I said for a year and a half, nine to tell you, came true. I said, Bud coming out southpaw. How you know that? I said, y'all don't watch boxing. He Twitter tail too. nine. I started I, my channel on Terrence Crawford saying the same shit, bro. I said that motherfucker already fought two softballs. I got them arosexuals talking all that shit. There wasn't enough niggas. Man, down for they was on me like that. white on rice, bro. And I That's kept telling you. I got into this shit, bro. And I said every time he shoot that jab or a double jab, bug coming clean over the top. Right over the top. And then as soon as he, he think he's successful, he stop him with a jab. Man, that That's jab ain't going to do shit. I said, see, y'all don't know about, y'all know nothing. I said, I say he coming out softball. With that, man. and then I and said, uh, DMT, I, uh, my, my brother said the same thing. As soon as he came out softball, oh, he said, "Oh, he about to whoop Spencer's ass." Yeah, yeah. Hey, when, <laughs> hey, everybody said that. Like, oh, as soon as they seen him come out nine softball, this tell fight's you, over. Nine to tell fight's you. over. Nine yeah. to tell you. When he came out softball, nine was on my couch. Nine looked right at me. He said, "Damn, he did that shit, bro. You this called that over. shit." I said, "This shit done." I said, "At the end of the day, I said he gonna come over the top." And they kept saying, man, being softball don't mean something, don't mean shit. I said, you's a motherfucking lie. Hey, when, a, when the orthodox turns southpaw, guess what? Guess what's his power hand now? The jab. The jab. You fucking <laughs> and it idiots. Looked, and it looked clear, and too. Every time, and every time he uh, spits through his jab, guess what came over the top? That left? Pop. That left. But and you know what, understand. bro? Y'all want to say something was in the gloves. Y'all want to say something was in them gloves. And all that shit. They no, it was anything they want. It yeah, was a, it was a, it was a, it was his brick hand that was inside that glove. Now, the two things that stuck out to me in the first round when I knew it was over was when he came out southpaw. I remember when Arrow tried to bully him, he just stopped. Oh my god, we saw that. Er, we was nuts. I said, "Oh, yeah, oh, it's over. Earl, he's he not stronger. Earl back. Well, he he's not stronger. Back, bro. Oh it's my over. god, that yep. was what they ran with, and that was and all that the was, sexuals and, ran with. And, and I said that, and I'm beyond. Arrow too strong for Bud. I'm be honest with you, though. I said, if Earl turned this to a wrestling match, that's the only one right, I said, because I ain't going to lie. I don't know if Earl is physically stronger than him. I said that. And I said that. My mom I said, but I don't see him getting that close. I don't see Bud let him get that close. But when I saw that, bro, the live is on, on my channel, bro. Me and I went nuts. 
When like, man, bro, Earl I back, went nuts, bro. Like, oh. When Earl over. thought he was going to keep him in that corner, he pushed that motherfucker. He said, get up off me, nigga. He said, man, this ain't we that, nigga. We went crazy. I said, oh. <laughs> we went crazy. We was like, this fight over with, bro. This is over. We was like, this shit over with, bro. <laughs> he, he got the speed and the power and he's stronger. Yeah, he I Earl's said, nah. Uh-oh. It was done. This man got the holy tr- trinity he got right now. You're <laughs> he's not been a witness. There's no way, bro. Yeah, we went nuts over that shit, but. No nah, man, I think I think uh, uh, Mexican boxer just said Fedora stop spits. I think that is a great, a yeah, great, great that's, analogy. That's, yeah, that yeah, is probably, real. That's true. That is real, bro. You me. might. That is one of those ninety nine point nine zero 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 zero. You're right. It's like one yeah. percent. He look up and win that. Real talk. Can't even Mexican. give you no push back. I can't on that Mexican boxer. I can't give you no. Push. That's for real. You know what I'm saying. Wait, what? Devin Haney gets clowned on a lot because he doesn't help himself saying he damaged Risha. Yeah, hell no, bro. See, to do that, man, I don't like that shit. You you might won that shit, but then when he lose somebody, you want to kick him white down type shit, bro. Yeah, he make a but, good point. Like, Devin trying to take on the role of the villain, but he's too lame. Bro, nobody fuck take, that. Nobody takes go, that lame villain serious. He needs to go fight. He, yeah, he needs to go back and fight uh, uh Ryan, bro. Until then, I don't want to hear him talk about nothing. Either. Because if that's the case, Ryan just ruined you. Ryan definitely ruined him. He went out. He went out like a straight bitch, bro. Like you setting yourself up for that. By you discrediting that man, we ain't saying you ruined him. That's why Catterall. So you trying to talk your way into a Catterall fight right now. But at the same time, if Catterall whoop your ass and somebody say, "Well, Ryan ruined Devin," that takes raw takes away from Catterall win. You can't do that shit, bro. Stop that shit, bro. That That's made me cool, mad bro. as hell too, but I saved the anger for the That's video. I ain't cool. coming here screeching when I nigga put that tweeted that shit talking about I damage reasons. You pillow fisted motherfucker. Them, yeah, them, nah, them feather man. hands ain't hurt nobody. The you man got right bitch, back boy. up too. It was a flash knockdown. He and it wasn't even like he ran into it. You get what I'm saying? His momentum ran into it. it wasn't like you just stole on him. He just, you know, dropped something, but Nah, bro. I I I I don't I don't agree with them saying that shit. That's that's a bad look, Devin. What I want to I want to hear Devin come out on his tweet saying a date. April Where? When's the Garcia rematch, date. nigga? I shut want, up and fight Ryan again. Yeah, I want a date. He's making all these goddamn excuses. With Ryan name behind it. That's it. That's it. And then go dark on everybody. You understand what I'm saying? That's it. I I don't I don't want him he I'm talking nothing about nobody else or any of that shit, bro. I really, really fucking don't, bro. I want, and that's coming from a person that's a fan of Devin. I want to see him get his get back. But you can't be talking shit about everybody else, and and you're not trying to get your get back. I swear I, you I, got don't work. Nigga. I don't care what they turn into a no contest. My nigga, there ain't no normalizer. Nigga, my memory ain't gonna forget what Ryan Garcia did. To yeah, you, bro. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? That shit is terrible, <laughs> bro. Like there's there's factors. I tired of people on a whole cheating thing and all that. Yes, he cheated. We know he had PED. They just going too far with it. There's two sides to a coin, motherfucker. There's a tails and there's a heads. And I'm going to tell you, mother, the tail side of it was Ryan at the end. Yeah, he cheated. We found out. But the head side of it is Devin Haney. You, you had no head movement. You came in the middle ring of a style of fight that you don't fight. You did a, a ton of shit wrong, bro. And on top of against that, the hardest left hand in boxing. And, 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 right. and then on top of that, you acknowledged it at the end of the fight. You acknowledged you didn't go with the game plan. You acknowledged it yourself. So when I hear that after the fight, and then, yeah, we find out he cheating. Okay, yeah, he cheated. But at the same time, though, when you say, I deviated from the game plan, that ain't got nothing to do with his fist. That ain't got nothing to do with him touching it. Man, I smell foul play. That shit so was point, 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 zero, 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 all, zero, 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 well, zero, one. The way I look at it like this, punch. Ostering, nigga. This is the way that, I look nigga. at it, punch. That wasn't in your, that didn't affect that left hand. It, it may not, dog. it may not, no, 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 no. The way I look at it, the way I still count it, this is how I count it. Just hear me out. Okay, it, I don't believe it had no effect in the ring. I agree with that, right? But the simple fact that uh, you took it and, and, and from plenty of people where I've watched and, and talked to they say it could be used to lose weight and build muscle right okay if even if he used it to build endurance and lose weight that's still some sort of advantage that he would not have had going in that ring you get what i'm saying so yeah he cheated but the part i don't care i care he cheated 
fine. But the part that pisses me off that you're not going to acknowledge that you made your own mistakes. You understand what I'm saying? You could have very much so beat the fuck out that I mean, man. Yeah, man. He if already you admitted it. He said, fight. man, I deviated from the game plan. Instead of staying firm. Yeah, he, he straight up puncher. admitted it. Like, well, just acknowledge your you mistakes. Kenny. We all knew you kept your distance for a reason. And now all of a sudden you going in the ring to kill him and you punch like a feather. Man, fuck out of here, yeah, bro. Yeah, like if Devin would have. Who you knock out? Bought, but you had a knockout in five years talking about I'm about to go. I'm sending my son in there to kill him. Your son can't punch. Right. What are you talking about? So you want to send your soft fisted son to go fight a puncher? Well, how'd that turn out? Five knockdowns later, you look dumb as hell. Yeah, bro. That's a fact. That's that's just how I look at it, bro. Like both of them, one dead wrong was using uh, PDs. But the fact of the matter is, you didn't fight your fight. It it, it was a point where the, the knockdown when he first got buzzed, right? He could have came yeah. back out fighting his fight and won that fight. But you you chose not to. Nobody he was punched drunk by then, bro. Fight. He you know was punch saying? drunk by then, bro. He like, was done by the fourth round. Done. No, I'm talking about the first round. At the first end of the first down, round, he never recovered. You know what I'm saying? At, but only because of him, a boxer would have did what? Took the second round off. Danced the round. Way away off. He came out trying to get more yeah, aggressive. Exactly. That's what, what I'm saying. What are you doing? <laughs> if he would have came out boxing, he would have took that second round off, danced around, kept that jab out there. And what and that tell you? His legs back dad's together, a horrible bro. trainer, nigga. Like, he could have got his legs he took back together and won. Ryan Garcia got in your dad's head first, then he got in your head. Y'all both fed on the bullshit, and he kicked y'all ass, nigga. Yeah, so Stop I'm fun. not I'm not one to see. I'm not going to be like, oh, Ryan, no reason Devin lost his round. No, yeah, Ryan cheated. And this I'm is Mexico it, versus America. You tried to make it all personal and all that yeah, shit, nigga, and you fell for the bullshit, bro, and you got cooked. He rope a dope you. Yeah, but he did I the won't, same thing Devin. to you that Roberto Duran did to Sugar Ray Leonard. Nigga, y'all both fed on The whole world fed on it. Everybody thought Ryan Garcia was And if you, if, if you somebody who saying... Uh, why would Devin give a cheater another chance? You just a CEO of the Devin Haney Protection Witness Program. That's what you are. Because in the, the day, you could be tested. It's ways to be done. But in the, the day, I won't get my get back. You should want Where, dude, to get now a get Now y'all known as Bill and Devin the cop callers. Get the fuck out of here, y'all. Yeah, I'm not nigga. with that, bro. Like, I, that's all I want. I want Devin to get his get back, bro. You could not. I couldn't live that down, not avenge that at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad if Devin want to take a tune up or something first. But at least have that on your list. Like, you got to see me, bro. Well, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I'll dump another one of these top dogs. You better go take a couple tune-ups first, bro. Because you, you, his mind fucked up. You can't convince me he ain't changed from this, bro. I need yeah. to change. Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. He it's, changed. It's the way stain, he reacted to that loss, bro, brain. you don't know how to take a loss, nigga. Yeah, it's a stain You don't know how to do it, bro. Sure. I told me, man, you're changed. I, I just want my dude. I, I want him to get bad. Now, I promise you. That's why I don't like really talking about people. I think it's going to be even worse, uh, even worse with a Ryan Garcia taking you serious. That's what Ryan do to you, not taking you serious. Wait till you see what he do to you when he's taking you serious. And the AP did know. A Mexican boxer, this is the crazy part too. The Mexican dude didn't even sue him. Ain't sue him. The carnival Mexican shit. dude didn't even sue his ass. Look what this Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? Even, think about it like this. Say the Mexican dude, say they wouldn't pay him. He still could have doubled down and turned around and sued him. He still didn't. Come on, bro. You feel me? Like, man, I don't understand that. And it isn't the Muslims, a real Muslim doesn't put another man down with. That's true. He don't do that. See, he's so unlikable. Who is more disliked, Haney or Bill is the real question. Both of them. Both point. of them. But Bill is more just like because it's his mouth. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's he's the one doing the talking. And, and like my dad say, don't let a person uh, use their mouth to write a check that your ass can't cash. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Where came out talking all that shit, then your son got cooked, nigga. Now y'all both just can't can't let it go. Y'all just can't let it go. Y'all got everything y'all wanted. You still just can't let it go. Another boxer for another boxer for battery. You fucking pussy. What a bitch. I don't respect neither one of these niggas. And y'all then you see what he tweeted. Remember that tweet I put up in the group chat slick? That made me madder, bro. Like you're really yeah. trying to make yourself look like 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 he just took nigga horse steroids. You know what I mean? Came in, nigga, solid muscle, superhero strength, and just whooped his son's ass. That's the only reason that happened to Devin. No, your son put on a fucking horrible performance the same way Tim Zhu did, nigga. When you, yeah, when you come was, in and fight a horrible fucking style of fight against somebody that's fight. ready for that, you're gonna get fucking cooked, nigga. That was y'all fault, nigga. It, it was a horrible Oscar style Rain, of Ryan fight Garcia, against a puncher. Shit, a horrible, right. a horrible fight against a goddamn punch. A horrible Plain fight against a puncher. Everybody know you can't punch, bro. You ain't had a knockout in five years. What is you doing standing, standing in the ring with this dude? That's dumb. 
You ain't fight George Cambosis like that, so you respect George Cambosis' power, but you don't respect Devin Haney's power. I mean, uh, Ryan Garcia's power. That's dumb. Nobody would even be talking like this if Devin just took that shit on the chin. Like, yeah, shit, he just got the best of me, bro. Fuck. All he had to do was shut up and let it play itself out. Nobody would have said nothing about it. Nobody would even be driving him right now. Motherfucker be like, shit, shit, I want rematch. You want rematch? Hell yeah, man. He even said that. Yeah, I want to remember at the end of the fight, he was like, I I got away from the game plan. We did trade for left hook, but I got away from the game plan. And, and they then said, he you said that interview the next day and said, man, I don't no, know. I never about, felt power about, like that. I don't think I'm fighting him. Right. But I'm talking about before that, after he said, he said he got worth the game. And he said, hell yeah, I want the rematch. He said, because it's only right that because I get I gave him a chance. You know what I'm saying? That's all that had. If he would have left it right there, nobody would have been tripping. No, nobody would have been tripping. Nobody would have said nothing. It was everything after you went to ESPN. Even even if you found out about the PDs. Like, let's ESPN, keep it 100. The way Arrow Smith was handled a, his that loss. Was that's how you handle your loss. Don't say nothing. Good fight, man, bud. Whoop my ass, man. Good fight. I like I said, and, 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 he didn't and, sit there and make excuses, bro. Well, later on, right. the if you dress, want to, if you it, want to get the man for for using PEDs, I'm not mad at that, bro. It's the way you went about doing it. You went to ESPN trying to discredit the man. You went through all this shit when all that shit could have been done behind closed doors, bro. All of that. That's not Everything. our business. And then like, you shouldn't even told us about it. It's him. like we wrong. Why don't you sue him quietly? Why are you trying to get sympathy from the world, bro? Go sue the yeah, nigga behind bro. Doors, bro. That's the part. That's the part it's, about it's it. Backfiring. How do you think anybody was going to agree with you suing another? Like, and then I told you, like, you got other YouTubers comparing this shit. Like when Bebo just is just uh, contesting his loss, they trying to say, "Well, y'all want to, y'all want to, y'all want to congratulate Bebo, but he's not but contesting his loss. See, that ain't the same See, that situation. The same thing. He's not contesting his loss." He's you know not contesting yeah, his life. Like, like he's, he's, Bebo he's, got a good argument. Haney don't. He got everything he wanted, and he's still right. trying to get more. Nigga, what are you right. talking about? But, bro, this is people not reading. He's not contesting the loss. He's trying to force an immediate rematch. Oh, okay. He went to them but and said, hey, the fight was deserved, close. Bro. He said the fight was close, and, it, and they, they, they they felt like the fight was close, and they are, are they're asking for a immediate rematch that is not trying to turn over the no contest or give him the win or none of that see what i'm saying people want to read a headline but don't really yeah. want to read the whole article you feel what okay. i'm saying see, see i was it even went over my head now it makes perfect sense because i don't think i never i seen shit get turned into no, no and no it's contest. not even Baval. Like, it's not even Baval doing it Baval right. don't even care Baval don't even care it's his uh his manager his man he said, he said about this. The ball kept it on. He said, I let off the gas at the end of the. At, at yeah, the, the ball proud. don't That's care. He said, I feel fight. like I could have did more and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yeah. go back and train and get better so I can get the rematch. His manager won, like, fuck that. We won this motherfucker. And I feel like they cheated us, but he was like, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to let them know how I feel and we want a, a rematch. That's all it is, bro. It ain't nothing wrong requesting. That's in the rules. You could request an immediate rematch and you get a chance to tell them why. But they only usually grant it on fights like that. Fights that were super close. You get what I'm saying? So it is what it is, bro. Ain't nobody mad at that shit, man. You can't compare that to a Devin Haney thing, dog. Like I said, I'm not e I'm not mad that Devin Haney went back to commission and said he was on PEDs and that. It's the fact that you're parading around and telling everybody what's going on. Like we don't need to know that. It's like 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 you said, Punch, you try to get sympathy from the world. That you can handle that behind closed doors, bro. You see what I'm saying? Bro. This it's shit, this, he's not the first you know? to sue for PEDs, man. De La Hoya done got caught with PEDs. Sugar Shane Mosley, uh, Angulo. It's a plenty of boxers that have been got caught with PEDs and have been sued behind it. But guess what? You didn't know until years and 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 years, and years later. You see what I'm saying? They ain't go everywhere in the sun. Yeah, that motherfucker. That. No, because they knew part of it was they thought they made a lot of fucking mistakes because it's boxing. How the fuck did he even get a chance to hit you? See what I'm saying? Facts. How did he get a chance to hit you? Where was that famous Devin Haney defense hit? that night, nigga? They act like the PD he took gave him the fucking powers of fucking Goku where he could phase in well, and phase out teleport. Well, now he's a fucking super saiyan when he hit like him he with could the teleport or some shit. that we all know the nigga got, man. But left hands puts Devin on the ground all day. It wasn't no surprise rights or nothing like that. It was the same. It was the same punch repetitive Ryan punch. Ryan Garcia knocked everybody out with. Everybody gets knocked out with the same fucking punch, nigga. And you got hit with it all fucking night long. But it was PEDs. Fuck out of here, bro. Yeah, right, but see, that's what I'm saying, Chappelle. People want to hear one side of it, and I get it. Ryan Garcia cheated, but at the same time, Devin got to look back at that film and say, "Man, I made every mistake there was possible." 
Wait, and don't get it twisted. We ain't defending that racist to. motherfucker's character, bro. If he doesn't but if it do like that, a rat, it smell like a rat, man. And they, they, if they, they he, look like some if, wild shit happening. If he keep, if he keep them yes men around him, and and his head stay in that same spot, saying the only reason I lost because he was on PDs, he gonna get done like that by the next person. I am not lying. They gonna beat the mess out of him because he's not gonna get better. He's not. There's no way in hell you could say that because he was on PDs. That made him keep his head on the line. You know, the rematch will end the debate. You know what I mean? Just like that <clears throat> Crawford Spence remake will finally shut up the Errol Spence fans. We just need these things to happen. Yeah, DJ, it's not. It's a hurt business. It's a fucking hurt business. Like we say, if you're scared, go to church. Need a hug, you're go to the your wrong mama. fucking profession if you're, you're scared. You're the wrong profession, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is, man. And I'm sorry, it's too, it depends on who you're talking to. When you're talk to some, talking to somebody from the block, it don't fly like that. Now, you talk to somebody who's raised in the suburbs and they don't know nothing about the streets, they may sympathize with him. You see what I'm saying? Right? Like I, like I said, I expect this from a Devin. He's not where I'm from. He's a civilian. I, I truly expected him to sue. You get what I'm saying? He's not his daddy, but people are on Devin because of the way his daddy is talking. His daddy from the block. So people expect more out of him because of his daddy. But Devin is not his daddy. Devin was raised in the streets. You see what I'm saying? So he don't got that street mentality of that one, that automatic get back. He's strictly business. I'm going to sue his dad. I'm going to hit him where it hurt in his pockets type shit. You feel what I'm saying? And I made this quote that I was taught. And, and it, it, it's still ringing. It was funny to see it in the video. You know why they made sidewalks? Because everybody ain't made for the streets. So that's where that's where he at. He's a sidewalk ass nigga. See what I'm saying? You can't pay him to go in those streets. Everything he gonna deal with gonna be in court. Simple and plain. Nobody gonna want to do business with the handies after this, bro. Simple and plain. And he and and, and, and and so it's just the sympathy plot of it. Like I said, him going on ESPN and all that shit and every every outlet and. Come on, bro. Stop it, bro. It's just and it's not it's not and, and making it sound like we mad. Garcia, bro. Like he's putting everything out to, like on Twitter arguing with Garcia. Bro, what are you doing? You know you run a promotional company. You know this is terrible business, and, and here, right? And before I get out of here, fam, I'm about to give you the end game to it. The reason they still talking about it, because they want the fight. It's the only Hell thing yeah. out there that's gonna make money. They want the fight. They can't get they can generate so way if you more think, money. If you think Bill just talking. On no tweets and making videos about Garcia, that fight happened so far long ago. But think he about it—that's the only fight, that right? Because what did Arce De La Hoya do? He aired out the contract. Definitely got two point five million dollars. Yeah. Oh, the fight didn't sell. It only did three hundred thousand. Surprising, nigga. You trying to compare the tank, but right? Right now, when you get a whole purse, be it for one point five. We all know why Devin Haney took this round fight. He wanted to be the second person to get round of loss so he could get the tank fight. Yeah, fact. And got but check cooked. this out though. But check this out though. Like I said, this is the end game. When they took they when they got offered the power fight, right? It went to person be hit and somebody bought it for one point five, which means Devin was gonna get up under a million dollars. They was like, damn, that's all that's out there for us. A, a kid that's used to not making no less than two point five. Two million, nigga? The only fight out there to do is who? Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, because ain't nobody paying that two point five. Let me let me let me let me put the butter on the toast. Go ahead. Check this out. That man talking about go get in Nevada, right? Remember that shit? You got, you got 48 hours. You got 48 hours. Let me give y'all a little tip that if y'all don't understand. After, ain't that man um, suspended? Ryan suspended, fam. Which means he can't do nothing with boxing activity. Nothing. How can he go sign up, bro? Bill know that. Bill just trying to discredit him and force him in the fight. Because when he come off suspension, I can guarantee you, guess what's going to get announced? They gonna fight because ain't no other money out there for him. He can't go hold sign up for fucking. Hey, now, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, uh, hey, Chappelle, I am a hater when you do soft ass shit like sue another sue another fighter for battery. Listen, the the boxer Devin Haney, great. The man, a straight bitch. Him and Bill, I don't respect that lame ass shit, bro. Because I'm like I said, we were talking about that shit the other day, nigga. I'm not from the soft era, bro. I'm from the man's era, and that's not man shit with them niggas there, bro. Go get your get back. You got everything you wanted. Don't sue another. You can't be no. No uh prize fighter on another prize fighter, nigga, for battery, nigga. But that's 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 what women do in domestic cases, nigga. I don't respect it. That's yeah, all. Man. So um, <laughs> all I'm saying is, so I'm letting y'all know, don't fall for the okie doke. 
If you suspended, you can't do have you can't have no boxing activity whatsoever. You can't do nothing dealing with boxing. So that shit went over everybody here. Man, that dude's scary. He could have went on bottom. How? How, Sway? Come on, bro. So trust me, more talk gonna keep coming out from Bill. That's the fight that's gonna make the most money. And I promise you, the second fight, he's gonna get, they're gonna make way more than the first one. They are. They are. I don't care what Ryan say. He said, I'm not going to fight him. They Ryan fight him again. Shop. Ryan was just on sneaker shopping on Complex. Guess what he said? I'm training. I'm, I'm, I'm training at home. I'm right training now. right now. Like, because we know, nigga, that's the biggest fight for Ryan. It's the biggest fight for Devin. They're definitely going to fight again. They're going to fight again, y'all. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. So why the fuck Ryan say he was training for their fight before Bill told him to sign up for Vada? He's training at home. He can't go inside of a gym. He can't go in no gym. He's on if you, a, a Dez 22, salutes to you. Um, but if you go to if you follow Ryan through his whole career, where where he does most of his training anyways? At home. At home. You can't stop a person doing fuck what they want to do at where? Home. He can't go into a gym. He can't go into none of that shit. You will get banned. It's simple and plain. Don't fall for the okie doke, my friend. That's all I'm telling you. Yeah. That's all I'm telling you. That's why. And it's crazy you just popped up because I just mentioned the complex uh, episode where you said it. But if you've been following Ryan long as I've been following, I've been following Ryan before he even got signed, bro. Nigga been on Instagram. That, why you think his following is so high? That boy been on fucking Instagram forever, hitting that same speed bag, showing how fast he was in that same raggedy garage. Well, it, was raggedy. <laughs> it wasn't raggedy, but it was messy. You get what I'm saying? Career. But hey, Slick, bro, I gotta go, man. I gotta go pick up my. Salute to you, fam. Hey, but, hey man, uh, I'm gonna definitely be on for the next one. Sorry, I missed the date, bro. I got, I got like swamped with work, bro. But it's I'll, all good, I'll, bro. I'll, you know, I'll, hey, man, you, man, you a man. You gotta take her home first and all that shit. You feel me? Yeah, man. Shout out to the chat, man. Shout out to you, Slick, bro. Okay. Hey, you know. hey, 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 hey. That's my yeah. boy Punch. Y'all make sure y'all go over to Punch Talk and and um fuck with my boy. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, for real, there's real talk. And Salute you bringing that up because that's a good point. But that's the reasoning, bro. Like you can't, yeah. You know, like that's all I'm saying. He 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 can't just, he not gonna sit at home and just get fat and bloated. Trust me. But he can't go into a gym. He can't have a uh, trainer train him. He can't have none of it. He's suspended. You know, so it is, and that's don't take it from me. Cause guess what? I didn't come up with that. I asked boxers. I've asked the trainer. Simple as that. So that's not out of my mouth. <laughs> so I'm just saying, bro. Like, it is what it is, man. But that's what, too. I hope you hit that like button. I hope you subscribe, man. Everybody that fell, fell through today, um, I appreciate y'all. All 310 of y'all over on YouTube. I appreciate y'all. But all 310 of y'all could have hit that like button, bro. But nonetheless, I am grateful that you came over here and messed with everybody. All my people over there on X right now, all 69 of y'all over there on X on Boxing GMT. I salute y'all. I'm glad y'all hit that. Uh, I know a lot of y'all hit that follow button over there, man. I appreciate that. And a lot of y'all shared it. I appreciate that all day because, hey, I see it. I see it right here, man. Dope, dope, dope. Come through, man. Um, I'm still, I'm um going to get this phone line and I'm going to um, start doing, um, what do you call it over there? Room spaces? on uh, Twitter or whatever, and I'm trying to, you know, link it all together so we can conversate on every which way, any kind of way, so everybody can participate. You feel me? They said, but bro, you're saying that like Bill mowed him the offer before Ryan made that comment. I'm not understanding you said, but bro, you're saying it like Bill made him the offer before Ryan made that comment. No, that, that, if you act, are you trying to say that, uh, what, bro, you saying it like Bill made him the offer before Ryan made that comment? Right. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. I see where you're missing it. When I read your comment, I was actually on my way of saying something else. What I was saying is because many times that Ryan said he wouldn't fight Devin, right? Remember he kept going, I ain't, I never fight him. He's suing me now. Fuck all that shit. This that, and the third. Then he'd turn around and say, I am going to fight him. Then this is the first time he, he was on uh, Complex. Now, if you know about, now I'm from YouTube. Trust me. Complex, that should be recorded already, bro. So 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he said that, but we don't know when he said that. That's the thing about it. But the thing is, it's just to prove a point that my guy is still training, period, at home. Whether it's for whether it's for uh, uh to fight Devin or not, he's still training at home, keeping himself in shape, or at least a distance where, you know, in shape or whatever. Because we know he can't go no lower than 143. But at the end of the day, I mean, it is what it is. Salute to Dead 22. Thank you for hitting the like button. You said Ryan said he's training for Dev first is what I'm saying. Yeah, he tra that's me saying. Anyway. Yeah, he tra yeah, he training. That man, they gonna fight, bro. They're gonna fight, bro. I promise you, because it's the, it's the only money fight out there. Ryan can fight anybody. When he get off suspension, Ryan got a following so high he can fight anybody. The problem is Haney ain't like that. Haney needs him if he wants those type of paydays again. That's how I feel. So at the end of the day, they're gonna fight, and I feel like that's why Bill's still talking about it. Bill is still egging it on. He, he told us that he's, he's suing him and all of that, right? But you know, he's not talking about the suspension. You go on his Twitter, he just, Ryan, 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 let's talk about that you put a strap around your arm and put a needle in it and inject it. Like, he's antagonizing him. So you're trying to keep it up, keep the ish up, right? You don't want to let it die down. And the announcement happened, boom, we get two, and the money will be there. You know what I'm saying? He said he can train at home and take Vada. Not while he's suspended though. Why would you? Why would you enroll in to be drug tested for if you ain't got no fight? That's for fights, bro. And it's like ten grand a pop. Why would I do that? And you can't. Peru. The only reason Vada is in a sport is you got something coming up. You can't do that. So he could train at home. Vada is not like they want random and you're in blood testing. That's Vada. You'll be you'll be an idiot to enroll in that shit. Say if they if you could do it. You'll be crazy to do random blood urine tests all the way to April, right? And, and paying for each time they pop up. If they chose to pop up four times a day, that's forty thousand dollars. Why would I do that? Right? That's just to discredit him because they knew he wasn't gonna do it because he can't. But they know casuals and, and, and not not and not saying casuals in a bad way, but people they don't know this. You know what I'm saying? So like it just went over they everybody here, but I hope they do fight. I don't I don't care that he discredited Ryan, right? I think he deserves all the ridicule. I think Ryan deserves to look bad. I think Ryan should be apologizing and all sorts of shit. Whether it was his fault or not, it's the point that was in your system. Ryan definitely should be apologizing, not talking shit. And at the same time, Dev need uh, Devin need to recognize in himself. That's he has to take some of the blame because PDs don't make you keep your head on the line. That's all I'm saying. I'm not taking up for Ryan, but I'm not going to sit here and not acknowledge that they fought the wrong fight, especially when it came out of Devin's mouth at the end of the fight. And I'm going to leave it at that. There's 22. Salutes to you. I believe you said you hit the like button too, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. But still, salutes, bro. The loose of death 22. I'm going to take in good faith that you're going to hit the subscribe button, but he did hit the like button, man. Hey, I love every each one of y'all. And like I said, man, on to the next one, bro. Salute to my rewatch gang. Sticking around for the post show. I'm out. Deuces.